Alright. Why am I receiving stuff? Are we here? Are we live? If you manage a team, you have to try them. Or did you guys get an ad? My God. I think I'm here. Are we live? Am I here? I don't know. I know that an ad played, so. Monday.com is a platform to track. There you are. are we okay. It's weird when they play like an ad, like right there, right there. I mean, I. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it with the finally stuff, guys. I had to reboot my freaking computer just to make sure that things go smoothly, I guess you could say. <laughs> I mean, my God. Because it's going to be a packed show tonight, guys. Let's do it. It's going to be quite a packed show tonight. So I had to make sure that everything was nice and rebooted because I don't want any mishaps. My God. Hey, from Anaheim, you're just right up the fucking freeway. Cheers, guys. Whoa, stuff's dropping. All right, I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. We're good. We're good. Oh, got an itch in my eyeball. Oh, feels so good. Feels so good. Oh. Ah, all right. Cheers, guys. It is Friday. Welcome to the freaking vodka stream. Thank God. I mean, it's it's pretty much my favorite time of the of the week, guys. I'm not going to lie. You know, trying to get videos out, normal work, work week, and then it's just like Friday, time to pour a fucking glass of mainly vodka. Look at that. Nice and, ooh. So cheers, guys. Welcome to it. Uh, apparently, Mr. Colbert is having a rye stream night. Hey, whatever you, man, pick your poison, man. It's all good. Cheers, guys. Ha! Ah, thanks. You go. You like my shirt? Yeah. Right, black suit edition, motherfucker. I wonder if Dawson's gonna. Hey, Amanda's here. Look at that, guys. She made it this time. I know you guys missed her last week. Sometimes I, uh, I wonder if some of you guys just, you guys just tune in just for her. <laughs> See, I think Stallone fan does. I think he does at least, you know. And uh, but yeah. Luckily, uh, she's here, guys. You guys can uh, flirt with her and everything because yeah, there's gonna be so, there's gonna be multiple guests on this live stream. Who knows how long it's gonna go? But uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it. This thing's turning into something, which is pretty great. And uh, I have to rant a little bit here, guys, because last week, last week. My problem was, what was the first thing I mentioned how like my, my, my Friday got kind of screwed up? It was a nap. A nap that was a ten, intentionally going to be a power nap. 20-minute, 20 25-minute power nap. It turned into a 90-minute nap. And it kind of just screwed everything up. And I didn't get my review up. And uh, today, well, I didn't get my Toy Story 4 review up, sadly. And it wasn't because of a nap. It was because of... Traffic! Ugh. Fucking traffic, man. I swear to God. Uh, thank you, Ferris. I miss you, too. Um, why? I'm not lagging. Are you kidding me? I tried. Go jerk off to J.J. Abrams or something. What? Oh, okay. You want me to go jerk off to J.J. Abrams? Why? Because he has glasses like me? <laughs> See? You're a hit, Amanda. Just, just, just upset that. But, yeah. Traffic. Well, the thing is, it's not L.A. traffic. I don't live in L.A. I live outside of L.A., well outside of L.A., you know, probably uh, an hour and 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. But when I come home, I, I cut through this canyon. There's some hills. There's hills back here. You know, I should put them on the green screen, show you the hills. But uh, there's hills back here. So there's a freeway. The freeway that runs over here is fucked all the time, and I rarely take it home. So there's a freeway right here, and then I cut through the hills. There's like a road. Well, there was a bad accident. Some uh, some idiot hit another. Well, I'm pretty sure it was just one idiot that hit somebody else that was trying to drive right. And it's only a two-lane road. So I was stuck in this canyon for almost an hour. And it just fucking A, man. It sucked. Sucked. 
Yeah. See, Amanda hasn't seen my bad side. And she hasn't seen my backside either. So, <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So that kind of like deflated me a little bit. Like, uh, and then I came home and I did take a nap, but it was a, a power nap. And then I was going, okay, I got guests coming on. I got short videos I want to do. And I'm like, I'm, there's no way I'm going to get my, my uh, Toy Story 4 review. But the thing is, guys, you're probably going to get a double review on this channel tomorrow because I want to see Child's Play. <laughs> see, she hasn't seen my backside either. So there you go, guys. Um, I want to see Child's Play, and I think I might wake up and catch the early show at the theater over here. Yeah, I've been hearing good things. Hey, Amanda, you want to go see Child's Play tomorrow? Huh? No? Yeah? Want to go see Child's Play? Do you guys think that Amanda should join me for uh, Child's Play? What's up, Seek? I think I think everybody. <laughs> That's my bad side. My backside's my bad side. Hey, Dave, it's weird that I'm cut. Oh wait, you do want to go see it? No way. I I was making a joke because I know how much you are fucking terrified. Yeah, like you said, of Chucky. J let me just uh, tell you this little story here, guys. Uh, Amanda and I have visited uh, Universal Halloween Nights or whatever the hell they have, whatever they call it. She uh, invited me. <laughs> she invited me, and uh, we went one time to uh, Universal. I don't know what they call it, Halloween Nights or whatever the hell. And there was a whole section that was full of little people. I got to say little people because I got to be PC or else YouTube is going to like end this live stream that were running around in Chucky outfits and Amanda was not about it at all. She was, she literally was, she, she, she was speed walking all the way through like this. And yeah, these little guys were running around everywhere. It was crazy. Did Amanda keep me safe at Universal? Yes. She protected me from everything else, but when it came to Chucky, yeah, she wasn't about it. <laughs> so, you know, officially ship Amanda Junkie. Yeah. That sounds weird. Amanda Junkie. <laughs> hey, Dave, is it weird that I'm cautious that if JJ were to get Superman movie, he would go full nostalgia a la Donner or Superman Returns? Like, no, nah, I don't think he'd go full. I don't think he'd go full. Oh, they were really chuggy dogs. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, you can join me, but it's going to be at like 1040 in the morning. I think there's a 1040 show. So, well, and, and then it also depends on if I'm going to be hungover or not. There's a good chance I might be hungover tomorrow morning. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, you are welcome to come, Amanda, you know. <clears throat> Superman Flyby was anti. Exactly. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, I was about to say, I'm like, I don't think JJ would actually do that. Hey, Michaela, what's up, man? Hey, easy, 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 easy. You don't have to talk about that. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't even worry about that. I'm not even, not even tripping about that. Not even. You like girls, Dave? Don't tell me you're straight. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, I have a confession to make, guys. Uh, uh, I haven't told my parents yet, but... Uh, I'm straight. Ugh. It's taken a lot to come out as a straight guy, but uh, yeah, I like women. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I do. Cheers. <laughs> wow, make Amanda get you breakfast. Hey, there you go. There's a, <laughs> there's a selling point. Just, uh, hey, by you or Redlands one? Oh, yeah, it was by me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the only showings I looked at because I didn't think anybody was going to join me. Uh, I was talking about the Harkins over here, Amanda. Sorry. And just be like, hey, just pick up some uh, McGriddles from McDonald's and, uh, yeah, just force feed it to me and then, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, no, but I do want to see Child's Play. So I'm probably going to – I'm going to have a double review. I'm going to – yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a double review tomorrow. With uh, my Toy Story review and uh, Child's Play. It's crazy. You have 
a movie about toys, G-rated, and another movie about a toy <laughs> that's R-rated. You wonder why they plan that, you know? Hey, not gay junkie, totally 100% not gay. <laughs> we have fulfilled our... Ah, oh, you draw your own conclusions. We good? Ah, uh, Eric, you're a fan of Mr. Crowder, aren't you? Is Ashley coming on again? No. Fury, that was a one and done. That's not happening again. Um, I think we could be... me. That guy and I can be civil, but when it comes to what he thinks about what I do, I don't think we're ever going to see eye to eye. So, okay. I mean, I don't mind watching you squirm. I mean, it's kind of fun. I've watched you squirm before. So, I mean, why not? If you want to, if you want to come. <laughs> No, okay. Um, I'm, I'm not going there. Pizza and live stream. Uh, I know we should uh, live stream a, a review, maybe, huh? <laughs> Amanda, live stream a review. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. No, the the West Ash, West Ashley. Uh, I'd be pretty much anything. I'd be. I'd see pretty much anything with Dave's. Look at that. See, look at that dedication. Ah. But uh, yeah, West Ashley. Mm. <laughs> Also, too, guys, right off the bat, I actually want to say something. Yeah, it changed my mind. Oh, uh, yeah, I had a joke about that. We'll talk about it, though, because, Eric, um, give me a minute here. I know I started late. Um, but I also wanted to talk about something, too, right off the bat. Um, I had somebody in my mentions. Um, I had somebody in my mentions. Uh, his name is, uh, I'm going to mess this up, but Shastri VC Prasad. I had him in my mentions uh, yesterday and today. Actually, it was today. I think it was today. Who was dropping? I think. Well, I think it was yesterday to today. Um, and I had he had images that he was dropping on my uh, in my mentions or to me and to like Chris Wong and other people too. That were basically like pictures um, of Justice League stuff that we hadn't seen. Okay, and most of it was from the art of film book which i'm sure some of you guys what's up hulk hogan what's up brother um and he had various images of you know stuff that was in justice league that we didn't see and then some of them most of them are from the art of film book that was released but when i went back and looked at some of the images that he posted there were a couple of few images in there that were not part of the art of the film book of justice league and some people eh, Kind of went after him a little bit in my mentions, you know, kind of said he was trying to be a scooper and was saying lies and was uh, bullshit and everything. And then he removed all the tweets because of all that. And I just wanted to say that, um, no, that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. And I know like this fandom can get a little crazy with, you know, at times, but he actually did have shots of that, that weren't, um, Dr. Sleep is a sequel to uh, The Shining, Amanda. That's coming out with Ewan McGregor, which looks absolutely fantastic. Um, anyway, sorry. But uh, yeah, so more further shit's going to be on that. I'm probably going to do a video about it because, yeah, there are a couple of shots that weren't in that Art of the Film book that he has that he got from somewhere else that may, I'm going to probably do a video about it. And, uh, I, you know, I might send it over to some various other people that have, you know, websites or whatever. Because there are some images in there that weren't uh, part of the Art of the Film book. But, you know, of course, the fandom kind of, some people kind of dogpiled on them and try to be like stuff. And I just wanted to clear the uh, the air here on here. So Max Landis was on Movie Fights, hated. Yeah, right. I know, right? Max Landis. Fuck that guy. I've always said fuck that guy. Jesus Christ, man. Always. I, I just never been a fan of that guy. I mean, I don't mind his writing so much, but it's. You know, because he's written some decent stuff. And, uh, yeah. But, you know, Chronicle was good. Bright was good. You know, he's a, he's a writer. I get it. But uh, but Max Landis is a piece of shit. And he's a fucking monster, apparently. Thoughts on Doom Patrol? What do you think, Dave? Doom Patrol is excellent. Absolutely excellent. I haven't finished it yet. Um, this weekend, I don't have any plans except for to go watch Child's Play. Maybe. 
Um, I'm going to try to finish that this weekend. And then, of course, watch the new episode of Swamp Thing because I'm digging Swamp Thing. Is Brett 2 canceled? I don't know what's going on with Brett 2. I don't know if he wrote it. I don't know if he wrote it or not. Did he write it? I don't know. I don't know what's going on Bright 2. When Space Jam 2 gets released, I hope R. Kelly makes another. <laughs> I don't know if R. Kelly is going to be available for Space Jam 2, so I'm not too sure. By the way, Eric, look at your DMs, please. Uh, a link won't work. Send me an invite through Hangouts. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to send me your email. Send me your email through the... Uh, Send me your Gmail, Eric. Oh, I totally spelled Gmail wrong, but you get what I'm saying. I put Jamel. <laughs> okay, see, there you go. That's why uh, that's why Stephen is here, because that guy does his journalism. He does his research. It's strictly air, so don't worry. We have no Landis a part of that, and I highly doubt that remake of American Werewolf in Paris is gonna happen now. Thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And apparently, what, John Landis? I mean, or that's a, yeah. Um, yeah. Daddy Landis is not the best either, according to an interview from, uh, okay, you sent it. All right. Get you on here. Uh, okay. Here we go. Wait, that's not a Gmail. Is this going to work? I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. I think it has to be a Gmail. Let me see here. Well, it says email address, so maybe it will work. So I'm sending it right now. Sending an invite right now, man. So we'll see what happens. I know we're a little bit behind schedule, uh, but whatever. It's okay. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Dave's already smashed. Now I'm not smashed. I did have a I did have one of these beforehand as I was editing my little short videos and making dinner. So I did have dinner and it soaked up. Hey, there we go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Are you here? It's not a G. Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Okay, I can't hear you. Try oh, clicking. Shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh come on! Right, so there's a there's a bit of an issue that I'm having with these uh, live streams. Oh is God! When people come in, I can't hear them. Eric, you're gonna <sighs> have to. Uh, I'm gonna send you an invite again. Okay. And click on that. And see if that if the, see if that works. I don't know what's going on. Why, when people come in, they can't, I can't hear their audio. It's so freaking dumb. So I'm going to send you another invite and see if that works because with Seek last week, the second time it worked, I don't want to click on into the, uh, to the Hangouts again because I think that's why it cuts out. If I click out of it because I'm hosting the thing. And, and round two. Can you hear me? I still can't freaking hear you, man. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Man, I don't uh, know what the hell is. Why can't I? Free, okay, hold on a sec. Unknown. Mute. No. Not muted. I still can't hear you, man. Shit. Hold on a sec. Let me see if this. Uh-oh. Son of a bitch. How about now? No, oh, oh, no, I still can't hear you, dude. Shit. Unmute me. All right, can you hear me now? <sighs> oh, brother. It's not working, oh, man. I don't know why the audio just does not work. And I and, and I, I don't want to click through again because I, I believe that's the reason why. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with it. I even rebooted my computer just to make sure that shit wouldn't happen. Fuck, man. Let's try one more time. I don't know if it's going to work. Damn it. I'm trying. I, hey, it's not even my stuff, man. I, I'm trying to figure out. I don't want I don't want the broadcast to cut out like it has been. And I think the reason why. Time. why All right. Third time's the charm. Third Thank time's you. The charm. Woo! There he is. Okay. We got it. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on with YouTube and their live stream and blah, 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 okay. blah, blah. So, wow. but anyways, uh, well, anyway, welcome. here's welcome. to you, man. Cheers. Here, you well, he, here's to clean, here's to plain speaking and clear understanding, as they said in the Maltese Falcon. Okay, I like that. Cheers. Ah, well, I'll put it this way. Um, I took a cue 
from Bruce Wayne himself. And oh. I, I poured my champagne. I filled my champagne gas with ginger ale. And you know why? <laughs> because I'm Batman. I like it. I like it a lot. Welcome, everybody, to uh, Mr. Hardboiled himself. Yes, sir. How you doing? What's going on? This guy is uh, hes going to talk about the Project Comic Con a little bit here. And yes, sir. The lowdown about it. Uh, he did a video a few. Uh, it was actually Memorial Day weekend. You were with uh, the mundane Matt dude, and he yeah, talked. I was. I watched that video, and it was good. I I, I enjoyed mm -hmm. that video because, you know, yeah, he gave a lot of insight of what the whole thing's about, and uh, now you're Absolutely. on the vodka stream. Yeah. And now, now talk about it. Talk about what's going on with Project Comic Con. What's going on? Well, I'm moving up in the world if I'm coming on your stream. Hey, certainly. that's what I like to hear. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just say this, say this for the record, guys. Um, look, I was in the stream, as I always am. As well, almost always am. I was on the stream when you had John Aaron Garza on, and you guys were talking about Project Comic Con, and everybody was saying you were taking a shot at Project Comic Con. Look, guys, guys, let me say this for the record. All right, if anyone has a had a right to be defensive about Project Comic Con, it was me. Project Comic Con was. I'm almost out of my mind saying this. Project Comic Con was my baby. It was my brainchild. Oh, nice. Now. Because like it, it all came about because look I I I brought I was the one who brought the original crew together brought everyone together and all that um but here's the thing I had a right as much of a right to be defensive about this as anyone arguably more and you know something I was I was in that stream I was not the least bit offended about it you know why because I didn't think for a second that you guys were critiquing us no. not for a second now um. And I even I even talked with John Aaron Garza about you know the whole thing about about the uh, about the billboard about you know billboards or, or, or bear banners and all that. It's like well you weren't I know you were not talking about us. It's like no no we weren't talking about you. No 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 you're you're good you're good. And and honestly um in fact let me say this for the record and. Let, let me guide you guys, everyone listening, anyone interested, let me guide you through the story of why exactly Project Comic Con came to be and how it blossomed. What happened was last year, last Comic Con, hmm. nothing happened. Nothing happened from Warner Brothers and nothing happened from us. Now, there were a couple of things, you know, the nerd, the nerd Queens were selling, you know, we, uh, we love Zack Snyder t-shirts, and that was great. I made a point to bring them on because they were the only folks that in the movement that did anything in Comic-Con. Yeah. That's why I brought them on because, like, they got connections with Comic-Con, and they're, they're, were, they're great. So, okay, guys, you're, I'm, I'm, bringing you, I'm we're bringing you on, and you know what? You guys are going to be running the boots on the ground. It will be up to you. I, I, I would like you guys to do this, this, and this, but, you know, whatever. We're good. Of course, the one thing I really wanted to do on um, the boots on the ground is kind of moot now because ha because Warner Brothers is not going to Hall H, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But the point <clears throat> because like because I wanted I wanted uh, the boots on the ground to do like in a nice homage to that initial protest outside Warner Brothers where they were holding the banner. I uh, released the Snyder Cut banner outside. I said, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we were to do that outside the doors of Hall H and you know, wave to everybody as they were going in through the line into the doors, and that would have been great. But yeah. of course. But alas, uh, then WB drops the ball and says, uh, "Sorry, we're not we're not going to Hall H anymore." It's like, okay, yeah. fine, whatever. But uh, but as I as I announced when that happened, it's like, so how does Warner Brothers um, not going to Hall H affect us? Well, we won't be doing that handheld banner outside the doors of Hall H. But other than that, we're pretty much still on track. But here's yeah, the point. Yeah, it was it was, it was the, mainly about having boots on the ground and yeah, and, and we're doing the air. yeah. yeah. In fact, but, but but back to the story. Okay. It start. It all started like this. The fact that nothing happened. It, oh. Nothing happened from us. Nothing happened from Warner Brothers. Yeah. And afterwards, we were all going around saying, you know, oh, what happened? What should we have done? What shouldn't we have done? It's your fault. My fault. All that BS. And then finally, some bright bulb was saying, hey, wait a minute. Maybe the problem was that we as a movement we're putting everything on Warner Brothers to do something. Mm. Maybe we should have been doing some stuff. And, oh. and you know, you know what I think looking back, because I've been giving this some thought. Okay. I I cannot help but think 
the big reason that as a movement, except for the Nerd Queens, as a movement, the whole reason that we didn't do anything at Comic-Con was because we were all expecting them to announce the Snyder <laughs> Cut. We were all expecting yeah. we were all expecting them to announce the Snyder Cut despite the fact that they pretty much gave us a great big FU via the Wall Street Journal article. Yeah. And we all and we but we all expected they were going to announce the Snyder Cut. And, and you know, it, it, if only there were somebody that was saying, hey, guys, that's not what I heard. Don't expect um, them to be announcing it. Don't expect Zack Snyder. If only there were somebody who was announced, who said, who told us to not expect that. Gee. <laughs> who was that guy? I don't know. Yeah. I don't In know fact, who that guy was. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but you know, but here's the thing. Whoever that guy is. Yeah, yeah, it's that guy. Ah, screw him. Ah, what does he know? But uh, seriously, it, uh, but, it, but finally, like, and I was thinking about this. And I've been thinking about this for the for the next several months. I was like, you know what? The issue is, look, we should not. We should stop expecting Warner Brothers is just going to do it. Mm -hmm. We should stop worrying about what Warner Brothers is going to do or not do. And stop worrying about what we're going to do. Because, like, we have to act as if at X event they're not going to do anything. Yeah. And in order to and, – and if we're going to do that, we got to say, you know what? Whatever Warner Brothers does or doesn't do, let's make this event, in this case Comic-Con, something to remember for our cause. There you go. And that's what, and that's what Project Comic-Con was all about. And, you know – and you know, the the literally the first person I spoke to. Well, I spoke to. I tried to speak. I tried to send a message to Fiona, but this was. But I didn't realize that this was when Fiona was was like apparently taking a break for uh, like. Yeah. I, she was on med. She was on medical leave and yeah, all that. Sure. So I I sent her. So I sent her a message. It's like, hey Fiona, I think we should do something. I didn't get a message back, but there you. But it, but fortunately, like she she was on medical leave and now she's back and like I'm so happy for that. Good. Uh, and it, I will say, like she, when she came back, she was like one of the first things she did was like she was praising the heck out of me. I was like, "Whoa, hey. thank you." She said, yeah. "Like you're," says Eric, "like you're a great leader for Project Comic Con." I was like, "Whoa, thank you." I mean, I, I don't want to be because here's the thing. Nice I tried my like at first when I first was, was was doing it, like I was pretty like I was too much trying to pre up strutting my stuff a bit to my, which I freely admit to my shame. And, you know, like folks in the group were kind of calling me out on it and they should have, and rightfully so. But like, here's the thing. We more or less settled on this. I'm pretty much what you might call a pirate captain. Iron yeah. Matey. Well, uh, like, look, there is someone I'm has to captain be. Now. I look at me. I'm the captain. I'm sorry. Yeah, but but it's like this. Um, but, yeah. but I mean that in the sense that, I get it. Yes, someone's the captain to yeah. make the make the decisions when a de when a decision has to be made. But a, a cap, but on the pirate ship, as a rule, it's a, it's you put it to a vote to the guy to the folks the to the crew decides on mass. What say you, I or nay, yeah. and that sort of thing. But here's the thing: the agenda of Project Comic Con is look whatever Warner Brothers does or doesn't do, we're still making it something to remember, an event for our movement. This is not about them. This is about us. This is about us looking big. It's about us looking to be taken seriously. And that's why um, the first person I contacted to assemble, to, 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 to get this started was Charlie, the guy who did the, uh, the, the, brother that, the, uh, the banner that flew past Warner Brothers. Oh, okay. Because, because you know, I loved what it did. Like I loved what he did. It was a fundraiser. He proved like he, he proved what we could do. Let's do a fundraiser. Half the money goes to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and we actually did something. And you know, you know, we didn't necessarily do anything for Warner Brothers, but Zack Snyder knows it, and that was a big morale boost for the movement. Totally and that's something. And yeah. that was something that I really dug doing. Oh yeah. And. It, and, and as a result, it says, okay, let's do it. And I contacted Charlie. Charlie says, Let, uh, like, let's do it. And Charlie says, well, look, I don't know if I'll be available all the time, but I can tell you who to contact. This guy, this guy, this guy, and then the uh, this guy and the Nerd Queens, of course. So I brought in the Nerd Queens. I brought in Mick, McD, uh, Bradley T, and a whole bunch of other folks. And we I met, assembled. I, I met Mick D at the. Uh, yeah. I met Will Rollins. Yeah, uh, Will Rollins. The Nerd Queens, I think they followed me at one point, but I think they stopped following me after a little bit. So. Well, that's fine. Because like, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. all have, 
Yeah. We all have so we all have our duties, and let me give you all like a rundown of the the leaders plural of um in Project Comic Con. Let us know. There's a yeah. There's me, of course. Yeah. There. Well, as the uh, the organizer, the guy who brought who brought the folks together and all that, and it's like, and I I, I do the chat. I do the chat. All right, guys. Well, here's the idea. We well, someone proposed this. What do you, what say you? Someone does this, or maybe the what say you on that? Um. And there's also there's of course Will Rollins and Will Rollins aside from like he's the he runs the um, he runs the GoFundMe. Um, I write the state I wrote I wrote the statement and I write the uh, the new chapters of the statement. Like he does the up section, but I do like the statement and the expansions on the statement. Okay. And uh, and as as uh, uh, and as uh, Matt as Matt noted, like you know I I wrote I gave it a very like bombastic tone, but as I explained to him, it was very that was. <laughs> Pretty much, I wrote it that way to get everybody excited about Fire supporting. Up. Like the, yeah, it's, it's like the as I told him, it's like the uh, the Simpsons gift. Shut up and take my money, and it certainly works because level one, we raised the funds for level one in a single day, and to this yes. day, I'm still, holy crap, I can't believe we did that. It's thank you guys. Crazy. It's pretty crazy yeah. how like I, I mean I've you know I've yeah. donated myself and just looking, yeah just scrolling through and seeing some of the people that have. Donated like thousands of dollars. Yeah. Oh my word! I mean, oh like, my man, word! I wish I, I wish I had that money to spare to just throw yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. I mean, these guys yeah. are doing well, but I mean, it's awesome that they're throwing it to this, knowing yeah. that it's not just going to you know to to to, to funding. Half of it's going to funding the boots on the ground, but half of it's going to suicide. Yeah. I, I like that. Absolutely. And yeah. um. Of course, the nerd queens, of course, are running the boot, the, the ground operations. Yeah. And the, like, you know, they're um, sending, they're handing out flower, uh, uh, flyers, handing out swag. Um, we just, re we just, someone just brought up in the chat um, last week. Why don't we get, why don't we do cookies? Cookie. And I just, cookie. Cookie. <laughs> yeah. It was like, everyone loves to eat. And, you know, it would be so ideal. That you know, we we go up and down like the hall. The, the people waiting for Hall H, and we're handing out flyers because they they're bored. They're, they're sitting down. They're bored. They want to read. They got cookies. They want to eat. Um, they, uh, the nerd queens have talked about doing scavenger hunts. It's like, how about it? Let's do it. Yeah. Um, there, yeah. There's uh, Alessandro. He's the one doing. He's the treasurer, and he's also um one of the one of the designers. Now, our primary designer, of course, is the great Ramesh De Silva. Uh, our, our, our chief artist, but like Alessandro's been doing yeah, some great art too. Guys talented, talented with the fucking <clears> yeah, sure. yeah. And um, but then, but then they're, they're like different members are have also like brought in. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, we're the ones who are like making contact with uh, the different providers and stuff for uh, level one, level two, and so on. Level one is, of course, is the uh, we took a cue from Charlie because here's the thing. My original plan, my original vision. For this project comic con was a booth i want let, let's do a booth oh, at comic con yeah, that'd be yeah. it would have been awesome but oh, then yeah. like you know, but it was like you know the nerd the nerd queens with their contacts in the comic con organization they said uh guys uh yeah the booths have been oh, sold yeah. out yeah. yeah the booths have been sold out because you need if you're going to get booths you need to get them like right after the previous comic con which yeah. we may or may not be planning on doing something Ooh. for next year. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, uh, right, we'll so so out, okay. yeah. Saying. So <laughs> but anyway, uh, with that out of the way, so we decided. Okay, so what do we do? What are we going to be raising money for aside from the ground operations? And then someone said, "You know what? What the heck? Let's do a banner." Just like Charlie did, but so then someone brought up, hey, as we were checking, you know, the uh, the the providers, and someone said, hey, guys, this one provider has the option of doing a banner flying around the area, not for fifteen minutes like the banner bus Warner Brothers, but two hours, mm. and just like that it was like, whoa, that's gonna be awesome. Let's do it. So it's going to be flying around and around and around the convention for two hours straight and start hours. midday noon to two on friday you and go. you know the sign the significance of that date that friday will be the one year anniversary of that wall street journal a hit piece <laughs> oh 
your name right on that banner. Hey, Ben Fritz. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly, we only have um, a few letters. Uh, a few let enough letters, but it's like it's basically WB released the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Yeah. All right. Well, um, and uh, that's that was what uh that that was one like a uh, DTS was the one who uh, linked to that provider, so he was the one who did that. Um, and uh, Lex actually linked to uh he was the one who linked to the provider for a uh, level two, and level two is the billboard, and it's the billboard that's on the highway going north into San Diego. Yeah. Now um. Now, obviously, now obviously the, um, lo the, the big point of level one, like the two hour banner was a great big, look, we're doing it for two hours. Like we will not be missed because we're flying around here for two hours, midday. Everyone's out to lunch. We're going to be looking. We'll have our boots on the ground. Basically say, look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Yeah, it's a plane and it's got a banner. But, um, uh, the, the billboard, um, well, the billboard is, you know, well, in a way, it's sort of us uh, shooting a shot across the bow for the uh, the Marvel fans, because hey, my pop's bigger than <laughs> yours. <laughs> yeah, because like, look, here's an example of ours is bigger. A, half the money we're raising goes to charity. B, it's level two, so we've already raised a heck of a lot more money than you. True that. And C, A, B, and C, it's a digital billboard, and the digital billboard will have one design, one color scheme for day, and one for night. Because, mm. like, yeah, because, like, during the day, it's, like, a gr it's an awesome, like, you know, um, the, the basic design of the billboard, regardless, is, like, you see, like, the black silhouettes of the, of the Justice League members and along with the text. And the sky, and during the day, the sky, the sky behind the silhouettes is, like, a sand-colored, you know, a dramatic sand-colored sky. Uh-huh. Uh, during night, it's to quote Hellfighters, it's what we call lovely royal blue. Oh, it, yeah, it's and it's it's both like it's gorgeous. And just looking at Remested, like this is gorgeous stuff. Now, and and it's and, and as I said, in a way, it's like you know, uh, as, as a way, it's like uh, flipping off the uh, the MCU stand because like, hey, hey, my pop is bigger than yours, but also we um, but also it's like again, it's like hey. Get excited, those of you who are going to San Diego for the convention, because we're going to be there. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Now, level three, level three, I'm getting really excited about, because what it is, the Hollywood Reporter has, every year, this double, double issue, double length special issue about Comic-Con. And we got a half page ad in that issue. Oh, half page. For releases. And the fact we got a spot in the Hollywood Reporter. Now, level one and two was an emphasi emphasizing to Warner Brothers and to everyone who listened that we're big. Yeah. Level three is about we're not just big, we are to be taken seriously because we secured a spot in the Hollywood Reporter. Hmm. We are to be taken seriously. Yeah. And so. And of course, um, level four is we have bought. You know how um, those those bus shelter, those bus stop shelters will have like ad space. Yeah, yeah. We got we got this. We got it. What we're doing is a bus stop where we get all the ad space. The whole darn thing has it will be converted to a mural for the Snyder Cut. Yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's strategically. Yeah. And strategically placed, strategically placed in it, a, 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 a very busy, a, a busy spot in San Diego that's in close proximity to the convention center. So strategically yeah. placed. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. I saw the design for the banner. Um, that's the uh, that's going to be the the full on design that you're going to put for the billboard and the bus stop, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it depends. Like, um, which one are you talking about? The one with the red background, or well, the... I saw I saw one that that showed it on the back of a truck. It was basically like a oh, mold that, that's board. that's level that's what we're thinking of doing for that's what we're doing for level five. Gotcha. Because okay. we we did level four, but level five is um a mobile billboard, and yeah. and the, and the truck and the idea is that the truck is going to go is going to be driving back and forth on the road the convention center's on, going to be parking at set areas, going to wait a little bit, going to go drive around here, wait a little bit. It's going to be uh, if the traffic's busy, it's going to be right there 
and people are going to be walking down to go see it. Now, um, that's the one that uh, Alessandra designed. As now, um, Ramesh Silva has been designing like pretty much everything else. So it's like you know, okay, let's do some variety. Variety is the spice of life. Let's do this. Yeah. And you know, it's it, it, I, I'm so impressed with everything, all this art that we've been doing. True. But, I mean, the only yeah. critique I had with that mobile billboard was like there's too many font, too many different font sizes and different fonts, and I thought it was a little you too know, busy. Maybe yeah. basic. You're not the only one. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not the only one. People are going to be driving and seeing this thing, and they can't yeah. just like read every little thing. Well, so, well yeah. you're not. You're That's not. Oddly enough, you're you're not the only one who's been saying that. But to be fair, again, the idea is that it, it's sort of a traffic area, so it's going to be like driving kind of slowly, and it's going to be yeah. parking in certain spots. So it's not like. It's it's like you're driving and you're going to be seeing. It's like it's like okay. for people who are like walking down the sidewalk. They're going to oh that's cool and they're going to be stopping and taking a look. <coughs> yeah, Sorry oh, about oh. that. Yeah, yeah, Cover yeah. Your mouth. Everybody's going to catch it. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but that that's that's what's going to be. That's that, that's what it's all about, man. Okay. And like I oh. and like I, I said, it's like regardless of whatever Warner Bros was doing. And you know, and I will say this. Um, when Warner Brothers announced that, hey, we're not going to be in Hall H, there was um, a lot of concern. Like there were folks like and, and folks in the crew that were like, "Did they just screw us up?" <laughs> yeah. And and I said, "Hey guys, this is a gr this is actually great because what it means if they're not going to be doing Hall H, if they're not going to be making like any of those big announcements, guess." Who is going to dominate the DC narrative this Comic Con? Mm, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> so, yeah. in other words, we're going to be bigger than ever because we're going to dominate the narrative. Yeah, no, that, yeah. no, it's a good point. It's a good point. Uh, I'm sure people are going to be talking about it, and you know, I, I'm trying to brew something up for it as well. Mm. Um, and then maybe if if I do end up. You know, if everything goes through and I end up going over there, I mean, I'll probably meet up with some of those guys that are going to be the boots on the ground and talk to them yeah. and everything. I'm, gonna, I, I, it's just I'm, I'm trying to figure it all out. You know, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. you know, I get what you're saying. Like I said, the only the, when I saw the billboard design, I was like, okay, it's a little too busy. That's that's the mm -hmm. only thing I really had. But uh, I, you know, I'm enjoying what you guys are doing. You know, I did donate. Yeah. I said, you know, like, okay, this is something cool. Now these guys are going, okay, we're not planning on them to actually announce it at Comic Con, but we want to make mm. our presence known. You know, and that's what's good about it. And I love the fact that you said that a lot of people were expecting an announcement last year, but mm -hmm. it didn't happen. And that's why everything kind of went batshit crazy a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah. All good. I mean, yeah, I mean that and that's and that's the thing because the whole point is look, look, guys, um and and, and I, I said this to people <clears throat> who were saying, you know, well, won't this uh has how is this not derail uh, well, won't this like derail it because what's the point? And I said, guys, no. did you really did you really think that us being there would cause them to suddenly decide to announce the Snyder Cut at that specific convention. Yeah. Because whether they were going to or not would not depend on us suddenly being there a few minutes before. Uh -uh. They would have planned the, if they were, if they were going to announce the Snyder Cut, they would have planned to do it beforehand. Oh, of course. With of course. this isn't because it's not about causing them to make an announcement at that convention. Yeah. It's a it's about like if we're going to convince them to do it it will be at some point in the future but if it doesn't like it's not primarily a it, it, what it is and it's funny I might it's, it's funny like when I read uh John Aaron Garza's article there were uh, there were a bunch of people yeah, and yes a bunch of people in the uh in the crew that were ticked off oh, of course but I was like but here's the thing as Garza himself has said, it's like everyone missed the last part of the article. And the last part of the article is like, well, what should we do? Exactly. We... He, he gave you like a little and, battle plan, yeah. Yeah, and the point of how to win, and what does he say how to win? Like, we should focus our, ourselves on building up our numbers. Mm -hmm. exactly. And really, when you really get down to it, people like the idea of taking part in a movement that's that feels big, that feels yeah. important, and feels 
to be taken seriously because mm-hmm. they like the feeling of being a part of something greater. Yeah. So, and that, that and that's really, when you get down to it, that's what Project Comic Con is all about. Making the movement look big, making the movement look important, making the movement look prominent, making us look to be taken seriously. And that's, that's what it's all that's about. That. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I get it. I mean, um, like I said, I, Mick D, uh, Will Rollins, I met those guys at the, the Snyder event and yeah. nice days, we talked, we chatted, chatted with a lot of, a lot of people over there. It was all, that, that, that's what was great about that event was no matter how people felt about each other or even felt about me, because obviously, uh, you know, some people don't like me because of certain things I say or something like that, but you know, it's, it's yeah. whatever. Everybody usually, when it when it comes to where the the goal is to just get the word out there, to try to get the cut out there, and try yeah. to raise the charity, and that's the end goal. I mean, we can all debate and fight and everything to to the bitter end, and uh, you know. But it's it, when it's when it all said and done, we're all just trying to get that thing out there. And yeah. I'm glad the fact that you're already planning on next Comic Con. Oh yeah. You, you, which means you guys are um, you're, you're thinking ahead. You're thinking this is not going to be quick, you know. No. And, and that's that's what I constantly run into is people think like, oh, any any now every any now and the, you know, any minute now they can announce it. They can announce it. You know, yeah, that, they could. It's like, yeah, that could be the case. <laughs> or we could wait another fucking ten years. Who knows? You know. And yeah. That's, that's the thing that I've always said is like, don't lose hope. But no. don't think that it's just going to be announced the next Comic Con. It could take another decade. Who knows? Yeah, Thank hope for the best. For donating, by the way. Yeah, hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. And seriously, exactly. um, if we thought, if we honestly anticipated that they were going to announce the Snyder Cut within like within this time period of our funding, we probably would have hedged our bets a bit. We wouldn't have yeah. gone full out to do all this big stuff because here's the thing. As I say, like at the very end of the statement, if you read it, like I say, look, if a miracle were to occur and Warner Brothers were to announce that they were going to release the Snyder Cut, we would see a we would cease operations on Project Comic Con, and the money we've raised that we haven't already spent a hundred percent goes to uh, AFSP. Now, the issue is a lot of it. Like if you spent it, it's very hard to refund it to get the money back. We still have to pay some stuff, apparently. Of course. So, um, but here's the thing, like we, but the whole thing, we are doing this, we are going full fledged on these things as if we don't expect them to announce it. And that's, Good. that's what you kind of have to do. Yeah, you have Especially, to. And, it, and if you're going to plan, like, like we're pretty much expecting, like we're going to plan right away. Well, like almost right away. Like you kind of have to, to like, to re- set up another GoFundMe for next year where level one is going to be, we're going for a booth. Yeah. We're going for a that'd booth. Be, and we got to see that. And, and if we're going to do that, we're going to, we're going to, we got to set up that GoFundMe like right away. Oh, like yeah. after, like, like after the dust after settles. Yeah. Yeah. After the dust settles from this comic con, we got to set it up right away. Okay. That's going to be level one. Yeah. And who knows what level two or three is going to be. Like we met, someone suggested a bus as actual on buses. And you know, People are saying, "Hey, why are we do it?" It's like, oh, "Oh man, guys, I would, we would love to, but it's too late to do to raise it. How much that is, but still, uh, But we, what we might do, like, ads on actual buses this time, to- next time, yeah, as opposed to bus stops. Yeah, yeah, That'd be cool. But yeah, but I will say, like, if between this Comic Con and next year's Comic Con, the snare cuts announced. Well, we we discussed this. We'll have a backup plan for that. We'll turn the booth into a uh, into a thank you or bin or something, or we'll, we'll turn it into like an education bin for people about all things Snyder. Who knows? And you can, and you can have a jar for people to donate to the AFP yeah. and stuff. SP, I mean, it's all, yeah. I mean, that's you know, like it's it, this is what I like about this movement and the the campaigns is. It always seems like half is always going to go to that. I mean, because obviously, what happened with Snyder's daughter, we're always gonna, we're always thinking about that. I mean, I think there's some out there that just are all just, they just want to see the movie, the movie, the movie. They don't really care about anything else. But yeah. you know, 
yeah, it's understandable, but uh, I'm 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 liking that. Uh, I'm liking yeah. uh, what you're saying and stuff like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you go. I know you uh, you're Absolutely. gonna be um, well, you're gonna be on the Comic Movie Marks uh, podcast coming up soon. Is that what you said? Yeah, yourself? yeah, okay. yeah. We're cer- yeah we're certainly planning on it. Yeah, okay. I'm certainly looking. F- I'm certainly looking forward to it. Like they know, they know, they certainly know me. Yeah. And by the way, like I as a little like as a little like. Uh, a little like part of my sign off is a nice little like hi reaching across across the timeline for the next couple across the next couple of minutes to the movie marks. Yeah. Must investigate further. Oh, they yeah. know what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, they're going to have to tell me because they're coming on in a little bit here. And, uh, <laughs> all right. I appreciate Mr. Eric. Uh, go ahead and promote yourself and uh, also maybe uh, get yourself a better camera. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's the thing. Like, my, it's because this is on my smartphone and my 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 phone yeah my phone has seen better days let's put it that way it's yeah. fallen far too many times but i'll get i'm getting it fixed <laughs> okay yeah maybe okay i think i even lost you right now uh oh you're we're breaking up now there you go y'all can me i think you're breaking up a little bit okay okay y'all you're can, good Okay. Okay. Y'all can find me on Twitter at Hard Boiled Films. You, you can find me on YouTube, Hard Boiled Entertainment. On Facebook, I'm not as fa- on Facebook as much as yeah, I used Facebook. to be, but Eric and Blake. But but I will say, um, you can also find me at Western Free Press as one of the head entertainment and culture writers. See me there. I've written articles on Man of Steel, BVS, all that good stuff on the on the DCU, MCU, all that good stuff. So check it out, man. There you go, guys. Follow this man. I mean, he's the brainchild of Project Comic Con. He's doing some good stuff, and uh, all those guys, you know, they're just they're just trying to, you know, just get it out there. And I'm I'm loving the fact that yeah. it's not about like, hey, they're gonna announce it, they're gonna announce it. No, no, they're preparing yeah. for the long haul here, and that's what we yeah. got to do. And let me say, and let me say this, like, guys, um, it, if it if it seemed like in any way that I was trying to brag and say, oh, I'm the boss here, no, 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 it's not about me. It's not about me. Everyone. I, I could, this could not have happened without each and every one of those folks in this crew. And it could not have happened without each and every one of you folks who were donating. And if you weren't able to donate, at least spread the word. Yeah. So I'll just say at the very least, keep doing everyone, keep doing what you're doing, spread the word. If anyone, you know, is going to Comic-Con who might be interested in helping us out, let us know on Twitter. We'll bring them on. Let's, let's make this something to remember one way or another. Well, there because you go, guys. The Snyder Stop Cut up. is, yeah, the Snyder Cut, releasing the Snyder Cut is inevitable. It may take <laughs> several years, but Good. they re- they release the Donner Cut. They, they will release this event there at some go. point. It's just a question of when. Let's make it sooner rather than later. There you go. I appreciate it, man. All right. Eric, there. Eric, uh, what's your last Woo. name? Blake, right? Or what's your last name? Blake, B L A K E. Blake, there you Blake, go. Blake, B L A K E. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, donate to Project Comic Con if you want to help these guys out. And like I said, this isn't the end. You you could wait till the next little campaign. But uh, yeah, these guys have a lot of stuff brewing up. So thank you for coming on, Eric. We'll do it again. Maybe yeah. even before Comic Con happens, I'll have you on again. We'll talk Absolutely, I'd All love right. to. I'd love to, man. All right, no problem. Thanks for coming Let's, on. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. All right, guys. Well, there you go. There's Mr. Eric right there, Mr. Hard Boiled himself. <laughs> hard boiled himself and uh now we're gonna have bring on my next ge- guest and uh i gotta wait till they come in here i have to pee i tried to pee beforehand and uh comic movie marks guys if you're listening i just sent you the link so hopefully you can uh click in you might have to do it more than once yeah uh, you might have to do it one it's, uh, you know Hey, he's just an energetic dude, guys. That's all. There's nothing wrong. I mean, Project Comic Con. I actually, I, I, I've actually gotten behind. I've donated. I actually met some of those guys, and uh, yeah, I mean, they're just the big thing about it was the fact that um, the fact that they're not expecting an announcement at Comic Con. And that was the problem last year is there was a lot of people expecting an announcement last year. And that's when I went, when I heard from my guy, uh, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> Jesus. Uh Oh, uh Oh, Woo! can I hear you? Nope. You're going to have to click in again because I don't know what the hell's going on with this thing. 
Oh, Jeez. can't hear us. Dang. Try one more time, please. All right. Because I don't want to cut off my thing because that seems to be... Well, if you try, cut... Try, yeah, there you go. Sorry, guys. It might even take three times. Who knows? Because that's what happened with Eric. So try one more time. Click on the link again. Ah, God, I hate this. I hate the... I don't know why I just can't hear the audio right at first. It's so fucking stupid. Okay. Right, Say something. Back. Are we back? Nope. Oh. oh. Wait. Can you hear us? Give it a sec. No. Still nope. can't hear you. Jesus. Hold on a sec. Let me let me try some things here. Let me try right, to we'll mute wait. you. And No, that's muting me. Oh, can you mute us? Mute. And now unmute. Oh, no, that's not working. Try one more time, guys. One more time. Third time's a charm. Fingers crossed. I don't know where Garza is, but uh, oh, please work this time because I don't want to have to like start it again. Nothing. Uh, wow, wow, wow. How about now? Give it a second here, guys. How about okay. now? Second. I really have to pee, so hold on one sec, guys. All right, we'll just, just we'll, do it on the stream. We'll, we'll entertain <laughs> That's why your, it's a stream. Uh, your listeners. <laughs> Can anyone else hear us? Can anybody, can anybody see us? We need an adult. We Paying for your stream. <laughs> Wait, we can literally fucking hear him. I'm sure everybody can hear me peeing. Yes, yes we can. If anyone can hear us. It sounds very small, like a small pee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Film Junkie, the pee stream. <laughs> shut up, Marks. <laughs> Who told us to shut yeah. up? <laughs> Can you see us? Can you hear us? We can hear you. Perfect. Okay. God, I can hear the toilet. <laughs> In the background. Nice. Ah. That's not a low flow, is it? I'm back. That one. I'm back. And is there any audio for you guys? Probably not. Can you hear us? Damn it. No. Nope. Hold on a sec. Nothing? Dang. See, I don't know why this is happening like this. All right. Here, you know, it only happens on your streams. Okay the underlining problem you guys got a you guys got a gmail that i can actually send an invite to because that's how are you gonna work tell you? with uh <laughs> yeah, last time yeah comment movie marks uh, stream uh, 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 at bigpenises.com i did wash my hands look they're still moist yeah that's why they're moist go to your uh go, go to the dms and see if uh and send me like a gmail i don't know why it just uh, it doesn't make sense why the audio just doesn't work when I send the, I think it's only when I send the link. It's very strange. I don't understand it. Just send me like a, a, a working email. It doesn't even have to be a Gmail. But that seemed to work with everybody else. I don't know why. All right, we're sending All it. All right, here we go. All right, got your email. So go ahead and click out of the thing, and I'm going to send you an invite. All right. All right, bye, guys, again. It's really dumb. I don't. I, I and I, I don't understand why this stuff. This stuff doesn't work. It's really weird because it's worked before and this, that, and this. I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to uh, click into the whole thing again because that seems to be the reason why the broadcast ends up cutting out. So we'll see what happens. Let's try to get those guys in here. I sent the invite, guys. All right. Can you hear us now? <laughs> okay. Is your guys' audio on? Yeah, it's yeah. on. Yeah, everybody else. Man, this is not working. What the hell? Let's see. Is there anything I can do? Comment marks. There's nothing. The control, nothing. Mess with our mic, Shane. Oh, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, 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 yep. Maybe. Say what, what, what? Mute. Unmute. Mute. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut that off. Hold on a sec. I don't know why. This is such a pain in the ass. Can you hear us now? I don't know why this is just happening. Uh, okay, now. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. No, cut that out. No, unmute. Ah. All right, now we're back. Can you hear us? All right. I'm wondering Maybe. if I, I'm going to have to start over the whole thing again. Cause I can't hear your audio, guys. I really can't. 
Uh, yeah, there's video. There's definitely video, but oh, that's good. You can see us. We got our mood lighting. The hell, yeah. See, <laughs> they're waving. I see them. <laughs> we got our Eric. I just do not get lighting. why when people join, the stupid the thing just the dark doesn't. Makes the no, I mean, mic check one, two, three. My my mic is fine. Uh, there, we'll go through the see. beer. Lamp. We're going through the beer bottle. Can you see? see? They're drinking something. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm gonna eject you and let's see what happens. You're not injecting us. Eject. All right, click on the link again and see what happens. Please let it work. I'm just afraid to like click into this whole thing again because it's gonna. Or I might just have to start a whole new broadcast with you guys, which is fine. I could do that. I'm totally okay with that. You know, why, mine as well, right? Click on the link again, guys. Click on that invite again or something. Let's see if it works. I just do not understand why that is an issue now. I don't get it. I'm going to have to like, yeah, I'm going to have to like contact YouTube. I don't know. I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's a pain in the ass. Why aren't you doing tech support? <laughs> yeah, I know. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me why this is happening. Because when other people have joined the live stream, it works. And now all of a sudden, recently, it just stopped working. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe I have to start the whole thing. I don't know. So comment, guys. Marks, guys. Try logging in again. Please. I don't use CenturyLink. I have Spectrum Cable. I mean, this... <laughs> so Dave, do you use soap? <laughs> I wash my hands, guys. Come on. I made sure. It wasn't like a big time wash. I didn't like freaking, you know, huh, you know, I didn't do that. So, yeah. Dave, buy a new laptop. I'm not even using a laptop. I'm using my desktop. Trust me, I, I try to make sure. I, I wanted to, I wanted to, I even rebooted my computer to see if that was the case. But for some reason, I, uh, but if I were to click back into the call, I guarantee you the whole thing is going to freaking, uh, the broadcast is just going to cut out. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me uh, try it again. All right. I'm going to resend you. Uh, no, the link's not going to work. Here, let me, uh, I might have to start a whole new broadcast. I don't know, which is fine. We had the first, first hour. Okay. Close that. Let me, uh, let me try to get a new, uh, let me send you a new invite and see if that works. Yeah. I don't know why I, this is so stupid. My face is red. Is it? Oh. No, it's not. Eh. Ah, got, got, got. Eh. Eh. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to start a whole new fucking. Oh, oh, we got our oh. Oh, I hear you. Hear us? Yes. Wait, we're ah. here. Oh, we technology did. gods are now smiling upon us, Woo. guys. There we go. So we got our. We did My the lighting God. to mem commemorate hard boiled here. So yeah, okay. great stuff. <laughs> not, as, not as grainy. Not as great. <laughs> I was trying to make it go through the beer Wait. bottle. Oh, Does that work? Oh, that's pretty sweet. I actually kind of like that. We love you, Eric, man. <laughs> we love you. But that was fun. No, no, shit. It's all good. All right, go turn the light all on, right. Shane. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see there those we go. All right. There we go. Ooh. Now we got the adjusting. comic movie marks, guys. All right, beautiful. What's happening, guys? Ooh. How you doing? Not much. We're we're ready. We've been You're ready. patiently we're waiting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry it started so late. Uh, <laughs> you know, you always plan something, and then it was like, okay, it's gonna happen at this time and this time, and it never does. It never does. But no. Luckily, you guys are on the same uh, time zone that I am. So. Yes, yeah, makes it a little bit easier. It but does. we're old, so this is way past our bedtime. So. <laughs> I know it really is, right? That's uh, why the lights were off. We were actually napping. Yeah, you're you're about to snuggle up together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay warm. Exactly. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Go ahead and introduce yourself. You know, make sure everybody knows oh. who you are. I'm sure oh. most everybody does. I'm Matt. Hey. I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm Shane. Spoon. Yeah. <laughs> and Shane's the small spoon. Um, exactly. Yeah. You got it. Com he's more like a spork. <laughs> oh, he's more of a spork. <laughs> he's a little pokey. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty bony. <laughs> a little bit. Um, yeah. These guys, uh, I met these guys at the Snyder event, and uh, we hung out a lot. We um, Yeah. 
you know, we met up and then we just uh, basically just spent the whole freaking day together. And it was, it was yeah. a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. It was a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> when it came to Matt, he was the most pissed about a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things that happened what? at that event. Release the Snyder Cut! Yeah, yeah, Fuck. yeah. I mean, th these guys were there, though. You guys were there the whole weekend, right? Uh, we missed uh, Dawn of oh. the Dead. Yeah. yeah, that's right. You didn't, yeah, you just Saturday, Friday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, you saw Watchmen and then, of course, uh, BBS. Yep. yep. Yeah, we went to um, did the WB Studio Tour on that Friday. Um, no. Oh, no, we no, didn't. We, we did that Saturday Ducks. morning. We went Bad. to a Ducks and Sharks game. Yeah. Yeah. We went, went to a hockey there? game. I still, you know, I live like an hour and 22 minutes away from there, and I still haven't taken that tour. That's how bad I am. How is that tour? It, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. I don't know if you've ever done the Universal Studios tour. It's way, it, okay, it's way different than that. Uh, oh, it, great. Great comparison. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. During that tour, I see Jaws. I see King Kong. <laughs> like, yeah, this one you just see. Yeah, in the no. WB one, you just see Snyder cut footage. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much true. the whole the whole fucking time. Remember so, you guys talking about that? Every time they showed like a little reel or something, it was just nothing but Snyder footage. Yeah, they have this little. He's video. all over the tour. Well, he's oh, all yeah, yeah. Like well, I, I mean, th you have this three hundred stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. He's he's all. They over literally the have this thing where you can dial the CGI on videos. Yep. Oh, on, wow. uh, on on these scenes and stuff. <laughs> it's Watchmen, Sucker Punch, Man, Man of Steel. Steel. Maybe that's just those three. Yeah, but and it's like only five videos on there. Three of them are his. Yeah, wow. he's he's uh, to for how how horribly they have treated him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Well, as of late, it was I it was crazy to see how much footprint. The thing he is, it's like I think they realized that his a lot of his shots are fucking beautiful. Hello, like they're the gorgeous. Yeah. Filmmaking, like the the cinematography is gorgeous no you know it doesn't matter like how they feel about the whole overall movie they just they're probably taking like certain shots that just look gorgeous and that people are going to be like oh my god look at that which is what snyder is known for yeah yet, you know? yeah that's the unfortunate side of it i did ask the uh, studio tour lady if anybody's ever asked her about the snyder cut what'd she say she just went, eh, no. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, kind of so, like so they shrugged have, it off. Have. Yeah, exactly. We're like, okay, that answers our question. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. No, I've never heard it before, but other people have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Snarky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go on that tour one of these days. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was pretty fun. It was different from Universal Studios in it. it was, they don't make it a ride. Uh, like Universal yeah. Studios, you know, you, you, Universal you makes it a whole ride. Exactly. Yeah. So this is like you actually get out of the cart, you walk over to, um, you know, some of the the faux walls and things like that. Walk That's into cool. into one of the restaurants or whatever that they have at the time. So it was pretty cool. It was different for sure. Um, but yeah, Snyder was all over it. Uh, and when we were there, I guess they changed it all the time. But they had this area that was kind of cool. You could see all the Aquaman suits uh, that they actually used on on the movie you know, kind of throughout the whole thing. And they say, do not touch, but what we actually touch. So, you know, <laughs> the Amber heard what one. We do. Oh yeah. You're like, nothing's going to get me. To <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this is put together. Yeah. 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 You got to feel it out. You yeah. got to make sure it's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jason Literally. Momoa. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's see what that cod piece is going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. What's Rock this mannequin mountain. packing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it, but it was, it was pretty cool. We recommend it, especially if you live close by. Yeah, yeah like I you. know, right? I, I'm I'm, bad. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I, I don't know why I haven't gone to that. Yeah, I mean, when it when they when they because you're an MCU shill. I know that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> totally, I'm secretly an MCU shill, guys. You guys didn't know this, you know. I I think Endgame is the best, the best movie ever. I've seen it 136 times. I want to Avatar. My God, God damn it, God damn. It. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to be back there for that re-release, right? Oh, yeah. The extra scene. Dude, I'm not even going to. No, there's no way that I would actually pay to go do that for like what? One, what? Five minute deleted? What? How many deleted scenes are there going to be? Like, is is it going to be actually anything that's going to be real? Is it going to be? A the only way that I would actually go pay to see it is if it was going to be like how the ultimate cut of BVS was where those added scenes that added a half an hour actually made the story better. A half an hour to that it. movie? No, thank you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I get your point. Yeah, yeah. for sure. If it's going to uh, make the story better, sure, I'll go do it. But if it's just going to be some random deleted scene where, where I don't know, Peter Parker and Tony Stark are to be like arguing about something or, you know, another joke, another fat Thor joke or something like that, 
now. I'm yeah, good. I'll wait. That's probably wait. what it's going to be. Oh, it along probably those lines. is. And then I guess the uh, the the post credits just going to be a Stan Lee tribute, which is cool, but uh, I'm not going to pay to see it. <laughs> Wasn't there already a Stan Lee tribute in yes. the beginning of that one? Yes. They're with the with the Marvel logo, they showed yeah. nothing but Stan Lee, and I'm like, okay, is it going to be? Maybe it's going to be something else. Cool, but I'll I'll see it later. I'm not going to go pay to see it just because they want to beat Avatar. I mean, it's I don't know. Kevin Feige doesn't like to be number two. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Uh, number but, two. Yeah, no. If they had the uh, you know release the uh, the the non fat Thor cut, I would probably watch it then. <laughs> You weren't a yeah. fan of Fat Thor or what? Pussy Hulk and Fat Thor were probably oh. the two most annoying things in that movie <laughs> by far. I didn't mind I didn't mind Professor Hulk. I was like, okay, that's better than like uh uh you know, that's better than Infinity War where he, you know, he was basically he couldn't get he couldn't get his Thor or his Hulk boner up. Yeah. I was okay with like the fact that he was halfway, even though I would have liked to see how he achieved that. It would have been nice to get a little background and see how he achieved that, but whatever. So I actually did enjoy that better, but I get what you're saying. But then Fat Thor, when that came around, I went, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, that's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it was just ridiculous. Of course, yelling at some kid on Fortnite. I mean, that's oh, just pandering God, to so your, your demographic. You know, yeah. that that's just knowing your demographic and just using those timely things to try to make your movie oh, of pop course. culture reference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But what did you guys think of the movie overall? No, I actually I did. I actually did for the most part. There, it's a very off and on movie. Again, oh yeah, it is. I think we titled it like bipolar. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. It was. There's some points where you're just sucked in. And you're like really enjoying it, and then like Fat Thor starts talking, and you're like, "Fuck off, movie!" And so it just, it just things like that over happen back and forth, or Professor Hulk or something like that. But then you get some epic moments and some down moments, up and down, up and down. So yeah, for me, about halfway through the movie, I actually was thinking to myself, I'm, I'm going to hate this movie. It, it, everything that had led up to it, there were some some uh, bright spots. Then, it, yeah, it pays a ton of fan service oh, if, you, of if you watch the movies, but they do a pretty good job at it. And I, I, I guess that's what it's built up for these last, you know, 20 some odd well, movies. That's what now. I always said in my videos too. I was like, you know, like there's nothing wrong with fan service. I mean, this is the, this is the ending of that era. Of course, they're going to, they're going to put all the fan service they can in there. And for the most part, it was fine. I'm like, you know, when, when that hammer, you know, was rising from the ground and then it launched over at Thanos, I went, you know, everybody's like, what, what, what? And then all of a sudden Captain America just grabs it and it was just, but my, my whole theater, like literally there were people standing up cheering and it was like, whoa, that was a, uh, that was something that was teased in Age of Ultron. And they finally, you know, it fin we finally got the, the, the end of that, you know? So. Yeah. As, yeah. As critical as I am of the, can be of the MCU, the part where, uh, they start opening up all the little, you know, wormholes or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to no, when, you, when you think about it, but it no, was it was a it was a cool shot to have was. everyone showing up and and kind of um, jumping out there. It the, the way that it you know it pans across and then you have Avengers assemble. I I got chills. That that was that was pretty cool. So regardless of you know the issues that I may have with the MCU, once it got to that point and the payoff, I I think was worth it. Just just admit it, Shane. You you love the uh, the female Avengers part the most. I know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That that was the best. Oh, we're here to help Captain Marvel. <laughs> doesn't, that, what the matter. fuck was Mantis gonna do? What was <laughs> going to do? Was she just gonna read everybody's feelings? Everybody's jazzed. To just <laughs> yeah. My God, do you feel this? We're gonna you mess shit it? up. Get some spirit <laughs> fingers going. Oh my God! Like I, I mean, I, it's. It's like, first off, Captain Marvel doesn't need really any help. She's pretty powerful. But the fact that Mantis was there fighting, I'm like, what is she doing? What is she doing? Well, she's got to be in the shot. She yeah. has to be in the shot. You know, the same with Gamora. It's like, okay, she was in the shot too, but that's past Gamora. And then she just disappears. And it's like. Well, what happened to her? Yeah. There was, yeah, it was yeah. so for, it was way too forced. Way yeah, too I, forced. Absolutely. And I know um, some women. Uh, surprisingly, oh, yeah. they thought the same thing. They were like, oh, "That's yeah. the so the I. pandering of that was unnecessary." And, and then even the part with, uh, you know, we're here to help Captain Marvel. We'll help you, you know, get across or whatever. And then she just blows through. <laughs> it completely pointless. And it, it was kind of, it, it, they almost put it in there trying to. I get 
you know, pander to the little girls, give them something to look up to. That that's that's cool Poor and all. Boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whoever <laughs> Matt. When he, when he's oh, by boy. the way, Dave, it's midgets. All right. Oh, I heard yeah, that. I was trying to be pro politically correct. Oh, I <laughs> little <laughs> people, LPs, as I call. <laughs> um, yeah. Lost. Yeah. Lost prevention. <laughs> when I was talking, <laughs> when I was talking about the universe, the child's play thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, was like, we started up your stream, and all I heard was, "I gotta be politically correct, little people." I'm like, "Fuck that midgets!" And I just yeah. yelled that in the thing. That was, supposed to be my first, that was supposed to be my first words was midgets, but I forgot because I want to do the mood lighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All of a sudden, it says off air, guys. Just kidding. No, it doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> right? Oh, and cut. cut us off. <laughs> so probably somebody shutting this down. <laughs> I know. Um, all right, so let's get off the whole end game re release. I mean, obviously they're. <laughs> It's it's end game. I mean, they're just trying to. Uh, it's just so stupid. I mean, I thought that it had a chance at one point to beat Avatar, but then once it started losing steam, and then, and then the fact that we're in the summer blockbuster season, there's so many goddamn movies that come out during the 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 blockbuster season now that movies don't have a time, you know, a chance to breathe. Maybe like back in the fucking '90s when it was like, oh, you had two or three blockbusters that came out during the summer. Mm -hmm. Sure, they could like dominate. But nowadays it's like every fucking week, and that's why I always I still get mad at the the, the decision uh, between uh, you know Warner Brothers and DC to release Shazam right in between Captain Marvel and Endgame. I mean that's what kind of I think screwed it up a little bit. Yeah, there's. What did you, you guys think of Shazam? I don't, the last time I talked to you guys, you guys had. Yeah, you were spoiling it for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, told you, I told you every fucking thing. Yeah, right. Because I asked. I didn't yeah, you care. did. Hey, you, you asked for it. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> not sorry. Yeah, now. Yeah. As he's chugging. All right. Yeah, not uh, sorry at all. <laughs> um, I like it. It was actually a little bit darker than I thought. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of. I. I like Dr. Savanya to a point, and then at the end, it got a little... Um, Pokey, a little campy. Yeah, it got a little 80s uh, yeah. kid adventure mm -hmm. type thing, like mm -hmm. where the, the bad guy just obviously is not going to kill kids and shit yeah. and stuff, and it's just like, this thing is not going to happen to these kids and stuff, Oh, that's right? too bad. Yeah, darn. <laughs> and and uh, <clears throat> let's flip that script real fast. <laughs> and, um, and, and obviously it wasn't going to happen, so it kind of made the ending really just... Yeah, it just kind of fell apart for me at the end because like it was like three tries where he's like, I'm gonna kill these kids if you don't yeah, give me yeah. what I want. And yeah, it, I get that. Yeah. And then the fighting, I remember the one of the reactions we did have is I wasn't expecting, you know, man of steel level uh fighting, but I did say to Shane when we walked out was like uh, a post man of steel world where even yeah. though these two superpower beings are colliding in some aspect, it's like barely breaking asphalt. Like now they are just so Worried they're trying so hard to avoid that collateral yeah. damage image that Which they're sucks. just like they're yeah. just gonna have a Ferris wheel fall down. Like that's oh, the no. that's, that's the it. biggest thing. And nobody's yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, they save them. Don't worry. <laughs> There's enough worry. people now. Yeah. 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 If anybody's on it, they're saved. Yeah. <laughs> Even the bullies, they get wedgies as they get pulled out. Yeah. God, so. It's so stupid. It's like yeah, you know that uh, that whole thing with Man of Steel. It's like well, that would that's what would happen. <laughs> you know. Right. It's like, you know, if these two beings are fighting in a busy city, guess what? There's going to be collateral damage. And, you know, the fact that they're, oh, yeah, Superman should be smarter. I'm like, this is his first fight. What are you yeah, talking yeah. about? Please stop. But, yeah, I've noticed that they're trying to, like, hey, well, relax, guys. Nobody's dying. And I'm just going, hey, they're not real people. <laughs> can we just yeah. – you can just watch build buildings fall. You don't have to see bodies falling from those buildings. You don't have to get that dark, even though that'd be kind of interesting. But you know, <laughs> that's just me. I mean, obviously, there's been other destructive movies where you see people falling from those buildings, and yeah, it's pretty dark. But you're not going to put that in a Shazam movie, so it's like, yeah, you could push it a little bit. But for the most part, though, they did a pretty good job, like you said, with the uh, the fighting. Yeah, it was it was okay. It was just it was different. It was definitely different. And the the headless Superman thing that was oh, man. <laughs> that was stupid. That was we knew about. We knew about that before. Well, yeah, I, 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 told, I, I, told. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually didn't. You have the picture at the yeah, time. Yeah, he had the I'm picture too. Somebody yeah. sent me the picture, and I'm like, yeah. "Well, you guys want to see it? Okay." Which, he didn't yeah. ask. Don't let him say that. He, sho <laughs> he just shoved it in my face. Want to see? Oh, oh yeah. I guess oh, I'll just throw it out there. Yeah, oh, oh, right. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to show you that. <laughs> and then I asked, "Why is he holding a fucking cafeteria?" Tray? Oh, I know. It's so stupid. It, it, it really it it shouldn't it shouldn't have been in there. If like if you couldn't get Cavill, just. 
don't even have it at all. You know, that was yeah, my yeah. whole thing. It's like if 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 it's still up in the air of what's happening with him, just don't even have that. But for some reason, they still felt the necessity to have that in the movie. It's really I don't, I don't understand why they did it. Yeah, I read somewhere uh, someone was talking about. It actually, might have been one of our comments or something. Uh, the fact that that meeting between Shazam and Superman should have been epic. You, oh, you know, yeah. the first time that Shazam meets Superman. And you now you're left with wondering, okay, now I guess they're friends, kind of thing. Now is Shazam a part of the Justice League? It was it was incredibly unnecessary. They were trying to make it a cool moment. Oh, Superman shows up, but it just it, it fell flat. Actually, and frustrated it, and, me. And it ended like Spider Man Homecoming, where like he's just like, ah! and then it just ends. <laughs> yeah, like 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 Aunt May going, what the, f-? you know? And I'm like, what the? And then it has like, I mean. I, I, I I'll give it that the the po you know the the credit scene was kind of cool the the drawings and stuff like that but it just really reminded me of Spider Man Homecoming and I was like oh I mean come on guys can you do something a little bit more than than what they're doing over there I don't know to me it just found it, it just felt really Spider Man Homecoming ish yeah Which sounds weird yeah it still was the better Captain Marvel movie of the year so yeah very true because. <laughs> <sighs> my girlfriend likes bringing this up every time we leave a movie. Well, that was better than Captain Marvel. <laughs> every time. So, that's, that's good then. <laughs> yeah, every time she says that. Wait, if we I, went and saw John Wick. Well, that was better than Captain Marvel. I, I, so yeah. then the, the question of the year is Godzilla or Captain Marvel? Mm. For us. I, I think Dave might have. Uh, I don't know what Dave's opinion is necessarily on Godzilla, but. Oh, it was. I loved it. I thought yeah. it was good. I mean, like the uh, you know the story with the the humans. Yeah, it was a little just like convenient, a lot of convenient stuff, but it didn't really bother me. I, I wasn't expecting to have like a, a serious human story. I thought it was going to be cheesy. I knew it was going to be cheesy. I was all about what was happening with the monsters, and I thought what they did was pretty fantastic, to be honest. Yeah, uh, for the most part, yeah, I pretty much hated it. <laughs> you did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's it and it's becoming. I don't know. It it was. I gotta watch. Maybe I watch it again. I don't know. But watch it again. I mean, but I mean, I did say in my review, I'm like, I, I enjoyed the first Godzilla 2014 more than this one because I love the built up, the build up of it. You know, the teasing. A lot of people hated that. We're like, oh man, there wasn't enough Godzilla. I'm like, well, no, there wasn't love a that. lot. Of, there, yeah, the build up for Jaws, the build up of Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at the the run the the screen time for those creatures, it's very limited. Very much how. Godzilla was in 2014 and I and I really loved the way that they it was shot and the epic scale of it and the fact that it just it felt more real than this one did because this one it was just like oh my god shit's happening run yeah. for your lives kind of thing but I still enjoyed it I still did yeah the the I uh, <laughs> I, Shane and I watch it drunk just kidding. <laughs> Shane and I love the 2014 version. Yeah, see? I, it is very, very highly underrated. And I I, I remember when we went and saw it, we just fucking loved that yeah. movie. And then we rewatched it as a retro review. And yeah, it, I, I love Same it. Thing. Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal. This one, the reason why I didn't like it was just the, the I guess, yeah, you could say ignore the humans, but it's kind of hard. It's, it's kind of hard. hard to ignore what they're saying. And it, it, you know what? Somebody actually brought up a, a, a really good comparison uh, when they were texting me about it. They were said like, you know, it kind of uh, it reminded me of Independence Day Resurgence a little bit. And I went, yeah, I could see it a little bit <laughs> because it's just like it's so cheesy. And then they're all on this fucking, they're all on this plane or on this stealth bomber plane that is just like just can fly anywhere in the matter of minutes. And yep. Everything is just so convenient. They're, they could run around the ship, and you know, as it's going through and trying to like divert themselves from getting destroyed by these monsters. It, yeah, there was a lot of, and then you know, Mealy, uh, what's her name, Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Yeah, Mealy Bobby All Brown. Of a sudden, she, like she knew exactly what to do. She knew yeah. how to operate things and go where and this that. She's and this. dodging Ghidorah's lasers. Exactly, and it, she and survives then, a house collapse. The worst, the worst part was In when you know the two parents are like arguing, and then you had a uh, uh, oh. Ice Cube Junior go, "Yeah, if I had parents like you, I'd want to run away from home too." And then they went, "What oh. did you say? What did you say?" And oh they're like, "I would run." And he repeated the entire line again, and I went, "Fucking really!" <laughs> like, who I the hell is writing this dialogue? This is bad. 
I literally That's said in the theater out yeah. loud when that moment happened, I yelled, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the whole line of people started laughing. Because <laughs> I got so, that, oh, man. that part and spoilers for Godzilla at this point, but <laughs> that part. And then when when um, Ghidorah and Godzilla get hit by the, uh, what is that? The anti-oxygen mm -hmm. bomb oh, or whatever yeah. it is. And, and they're following Godzilla's heartbeat. And they literally go Grey's Anatomy here. And it's like, beep, beep. <laughs> and then the guy goes, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> and I yelled, fuck off again. <laughs> I was like, that is the dumbest fucking thing. It was just, I couldn't believe that. I'm like, what are we, what are we doing here? And then he wasn't even dead. He no. was in a healing coma. Like, yeah, Superman. he was just, no. he was just <laughs> like, I'm going to, I'm going to relax guys. Yeah. That, that one kind of fucked me up a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> they they just overcomplicated that movie. Eco terrorist, what? like what is this thing with eco terrorist yeah. and like yeah. population control? We had like predator. Predator was like talking about global warming that, with those shitty reshoots, and then you have uh, what was the Thanos? You yep. know, overpopulation. Let's kill everybody. Yeah. And then uh, well, even Justice League has that shitty ass. Uh, oh, the world the world is warming, melting the ice caps, which is obviously a Whedon edition. That whole stupid thing. It's like all these stupid comments and shit. I'm like. You can tell that's when it's just done by a committee of people. Yeah. Like, let's just get our message in there and let's just chuck it in there and let's have eco terrorists because the world's going to end in 10 years all of a sudden. Oh, jeez. <laughs> in every movie. <laughs> also, you got AOC just showing up like, guys. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> My God. <laughs> Yeah, Green New Deal. Get those yeah, cow parts. Yeah. That's what he should have done. Unleash Godzilla to kill all the cows. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's Kong versus uh, Godzilla right there. Yeah. <laughs> and the, and the, the secret enemy is going to be the cow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they're going to have to team up and stop. Are you, guys, are you guys looking forward to Godzilla versus Kong? Yeah. Just, yeah no, I still am. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go see Godzilla versus Kong. For what it's going to be, absolutely. But now they got to push it back to make it a good movie, even though they have five well, years to do. What I heard is they're not going to push it back. I don't know. Oh, even I, better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I, I read that probably like a couple days ago that. They might not be pushing it back. Um, as far as it's I not like you can trust anything Toby Emmerich says. Exactly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? He's a swell dude. He has right. I'm surprised he says shit anymore. Oh my god. Oh, his time's limited, trust me. Um, I don't I don't see Is him. that a scoop, Dave? No, oh my god. Did your, source, did your source told you? <laughs> I'm scooping. I, I don't know. It's just stuff I've heard. I, I I don't think he's gonna make it to the end of the year. That's for damn sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, it, it could be, I don't know, it could just be nothing and he just walks away or it could be something really bad. That's that's just, you guys heard it here, folks, f first, folks. But um, yeah, when it comes to uh, Godzilla versus... Yeah, I, I know, it, it sucks too because it's like, I want to just like say everything that I hear, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, just kind of just throw it out there a little bit. I can't exactly, I mean, look what happens every time like oh yeah he's got a source it's bullshit and this that and this and then it's a whole thing and then i'm battling with like stupid people on twitter so no. uh, i just got yeah i know <laughs> me doing that what the fuck no, but uh when it comes to godzilla right, you just bring him on your show yeah. i know I, oh yeah that one time yeah that was a <laughs> one and done thing well the reason why i brought him on there is because like he posted on vero that and that was just and i and i know you guys wanted to uh moderate that <laughs> That was me. I was just yeah, fucking around. Was just, <laughs> I wasn't gonna actually do that. Uh, I, I I thought about it. Don't even think I I, oh, I was oh, like, okay. mm -hmm. there's no fucking way in hell I was gonna do that. It probably I probably needed it. I just I'm wanted to. I just wanted to throw that out there. I just really wanted to post that Eric Bischoff gif. So I just had to have something with it. <laughs> and then the follow up. <laughs> no, but I, I even thought about. it. I was like, huh? Well, should we have a moderator? Nah, we're just well, gonna talk. You know. We were right. on his show. We actually we, we've been on Mr. Uh, West Ashley's podcast. Oh, really? A, a while back. How about yeah, he's a, he's a he's a good guy, and it was yeah. a, it was a good show. It was real fun. Yeah. And uh, the the thing is, it's just uh, you know differing opinions, really. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it comes down to. And it, it, I mean, we're, I guess we I would say we're probably more on your side more than anything. I think as much say that oh, right God. information that yeah. is out there is the best thing for everybody. So there's no the more. And the more we can agree on things, the better. And if it's right, that's yeah. the that's the proper way to do it. Because then well, you don't have uh, opinions going back and forth and being like, "Well, this person says this." Well, this. Yeah, person yeah. Says that. Well, I appreciated like the tweet you guys uh, put out when it came to the Steppenwolf design. That you know, you guys talked about how me and Garza were like the ones that had been talked about, like that Snyder and Warner Brothers agreed to that design right. early on, and we've been talking about that since last year, and then. Mm -hmm. it 
obviously they got confirmed. And you guys tweeted that out. And I, you know, we both of us really appreciated that because it was like, yeah, we have been. You know, we're trying not to uh, rub it in everybody's faces, but you know, sometimes we do, <laughs> just because that's what happens. But uh, yeah, yeah we definitely not John, not Garza. He <laughs> no, no, Garza, no, nah, he's very modest. What do you? Yeah, think? very, very, very. <laughs> no, it was just, it was just a thing that I, you know, I, I watched. I happened to notice both, both you guys were saying that a while ago. Yeah. I was, I take everything with a grain of salt. Everything course, to a yeah. point. Not if it makes sense. Now. If it, yeah, if it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Just remember those things and then go on. And if you can piece it together from there, hey, you know, Bob's your uncle. You know, it's fucking good times. And I just remembered you and John both saying that a long time ago. I couldn't even remember when it was. And uh, was uh, almost a year ago. And I was just like, okay, well, there you go. There's your confirmation. And just to, yeah. just, and it's not like it's negative. Well, I guess, yeah, we would prefer the other Steppenwolf design. Oh, of course. Yeah. And that's but, what I've said many times too. It's like, guys, I prefer the original design, but I'm just letting you guys know that, hey, this is what I heard. Right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I look back and uh, I'm curious now when <laughs> when you got some of your information because there was actually a video you did. That I did. Great. It was back in June. It was like only, it was pretty much a year ago that I. Oh, no, no. I, you got, the information, I got the information before that and I just kind of sat on it a little yeah. bit about the. You actually did one in January of 2018. I look back. Did I? Oh, and you, shit. And you See, briefly crazy. mention it as like your. You're half-ass guessing, which you're terrible at that. <laughs> I now know, that we can so see bad. it in hindsight. <laughs> you're like, well, maybe we didn't like the other one. Or maybe they agreed upon it. I'm not sure. That's kind of how you presented it. And so <laughs> I can and, see that. That's usually what I do. And so I, I saw that one, and I was like, well, fuck. Okay, well, well there it is right there. Because uh, that, that's the one I first went back to on accident. And not the, the one you did a year ago where you kind of laid it down. Well, yeah, that was when I did a full on video about that. Yeah. 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 It, it's just, I don't know. When people get things right, there yeah. should be, it should be focused on like, hey, okay, as this person gets things right, either you, John, Stephen Colbert, whoever it is, yeah. uh, the guys over at the Film Exiles thingy or whatever, if yeah. they get something right, they got as, the they get stuff, right. as they get stuff right, as everybody gets stuff right, you start. You can start taking more grain of salt from these individuals as they get things right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. There's other people on Twitter that get things wrong all the time, <laughs> or just guess, or just change it up, yeah. or you know, yeah. it's because it got turned last. Yeah. And... yeah, it got turned. It got changed last second because that's how that shit works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or just completely ignore what I just said. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, no, I didn't say that. Going. I said it like this anyway. What are you so, talking about? I, I didn't say it was going to be like that. I just yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It, as those people get stuff, as those people say things, ignore that shit. Yeah. But like, like, like I said, if you know, uh, if you guys get things right, it should be acknowledged. I don't care why you guys do it, what you do. Like the, the whole clicks and whatever thing. One, we've already talked about it before on a podcast before. Like, like YouTube ad revenue is not like some golden goose that people. No, it's it. not. You, and I kind of broke it down to roughly. I mean, this is a rough estimate from what we gather, anyway. It's probably a dollar per thousand review. Uh, oh, thousand yeah. views. It's pretty much like that, yeah. Yeah, and but I think now that they're doing this one of two ads, we saw kind of a a jump, a little bit of a jump because they're like doing two ads. They're forcing people to watch two ads now per video, even well, if even it's when I start the video. vodka stream. When I started the vodka stream, it just an ad just popped yep. up. Yeah, it doesn't there was an ad. all the time. It doesn't happen <laughs> all the time, but sometimes when I just hit broadcast and then i have the uh the page up where everybody can watch and all of a sudden it's just like boop there was like an ad and i went oh okay yeah. sorry guys that wasn't that great good. watching ads on your own shit i know right <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm trying to get money here, for this. and you guys just put an ad for fucking you know at&t or something you know it's like yeah, oh, really? yeah geez yeah no perfect right yeah. no oh, it's just it, 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 so it's yeah. not really like it's not some golden fucking goose. It's not, no, it's like, not. It, it, and so it's just kind of I don't know how ad revenue works with uh, with sites and stuff. So for Garza and Stephen Colbert, I really don't know how much. I doubt it's much better. No, it's not. It's <laughs> not. It's. It, I mean, I have a website myself, and anytime that I get traction on something, it's pennies, 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 pennies. A lot of people got to realize there's just it's like half pennies at times, you know. Well, uh, you know, when it came to, uh, I mean, one of my the biggest videos i had this year was uh chris dawson me reacting to chris dawson's black suit edition trailer that yeah. video blew up it like blew up and people were going dude your video is getting more fucking views than his actual video and i felt bad so <laughs> I, I, I felt really bad i'm like dude hey this is like 
I, I'll take like a small percentage, but I'm going to donate to your fucking what you're doing, man. Like, yeah, I'm going to take a month's worth. And uh, we actually actually did that today. Like, I, I took a screenshot. I'm like, this is how much that it's made. I, I'll take like 25 percent. You take the rest and I'm going to send it to you right now because, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people. It's just like, oh, yeah, I'll just give you like a little bit or not give you any at all. And it and it's not even a lot like I got over one hundred and thirty thousand views. But. That was like a hundred and something dollars. It yeah, wasn't exactly. even like that much. Like uh, a lot of people. I thought you were like, gonna say that was like ten bucks. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> well, it was not a dollar per thousand right, views. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah, he's probably it, looking it, about a yeah, hundred. Pretty much got it right, 000, and it's only like that much. And I was like, but I was like, hey man, you, you can have the big chunk of it. I want to donate that to you. And I even said that when we were on. He had me on my podcast. I'm like, dude, I feel bad because I did not expect that video to blow up, but it just blew up for like a week i was just like looking at my views going holy shit everybody's watching this video youtube yeah. algorithm system is just fucking it's so, it's so fucked up it's weird <laughs> and it's like you know and you always want to you always want to like you always want to have the title to drive people in and sometimes it's not you say it clickbait exactly you want to <laughs> clickbait it a little bit but you also don't want when people click into it you want to be like okay well even though this was a clickbaity title he did talk about this or whatever you know, when I when I posted my um, my podcast earlier today, I went, "What the fuck did I even talk about?" <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't remember. Like, what was I talking about? And I when I looked at my notes and uh, even kind of went through my podcast, I went, "Man, I really did not talk about much when it came to movies. I was talking about just work shit, just kind of almost personal shit." And then I went into questions, and I went, "How do I title this?" <laughs> and then I'm just thinking, I'm like, "This movie, this this podcast is not going to get a lot of traction because." I didn't talk about the Snyder Cut really that much. I talked a little bit about Phantom or I talked about, you know, just dumb shit. And I'm going, and I just immediately thought, wow, this whole podcast is just not really going to get traction because I didn't, I don't want to put a clickbaity title and then it not, you know, <laughs> you're not talking about certain Snyder things. Cut release at San Diego Comic Con. That's what exactly. you should put on it. Right. I thought, uh, uh, I thought every single one of them. But now, <laughs> are you guys, uh, what did you guys think about, um, what do you guys think about Project Comic Con? What's your, uh, your thoughts on that uh it's awesome stuff uh that that what everyone's doing i mean the amount of passion that this whole group is is just pushing forward is is fantastic uh it's unfortunate wb won't be at hall h this year um uh, but the fact that you know still gonna show but marvel's up, gonna be there which makes it fun yeah right yeah all of a sudden now and then uh that ray porter show. is on board <laughs> can't wait to see what they have <laughs> i want to see no what i want to see is i want to see hall h I want to see Hall H with a bunch of release of Snyder Cut signs in it with Marvel. Yes. I, so I'm hoping somehow they can get enough people in right. there to hold signs up and stuff. Yeah. I think that would be kind of funny. That Just would like, be, uh, they'll somebody, get them taken. Somebody <laughs> sent us, somebody <laughs> tagged us on a picture where like Monday Night Raw, WWE yeah. Monday Night Raw, yeah, had released the Snyder had Cut. Some guy in the corner. <laughs> so awesome. I talked was, to the, I've actually talked that. to the guy who did that. Yeah. He oh, was, oh that's there. fantastic. He had pictures, like he had a fucking Lucha Libre mask and everything. And he was like this red fucking Lucha Libre mask, and he was holding that shit up. He was all about it. I Great Paul Heyman segment. It's like, that's, the, that's the most watched segment. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's like Lord, his name was like Lord Raw or something like that. I don't know. Hmm. I just remember seeing that, and then all of a sudden he creeped up in my mention, goes, "Oh yeah, that was me," and this, that, and this. And he was exp and he showed like behind the scenes pictures of him making the sign, his mask, and everything. And I'm like, "There you go. Good job." Wow. I mean. Awesome. That was pretty passion. sweet. I, yeah. That was one of the coolest <laughs> things because that's just, that's our world right there. That's exactly. two worlds colliding yeah. for us. That's there you go. Uh, yeah, Chris Wong just mentioned it in the live chat. Lord J. That's what his name is. Okay. So Rock oh, Chris is here. Lord all right. Koj. Yeah. He he like he yeah he posted all his like little behind the scenes like he took pictures of what he was gonna do and yeah he fucking did it and it got on there. I mean there I saw many screenshots from from that that showed. <laughs> That showed that sign right yeah. out there, and that's beautiful. And I like what you have to say is like if somebody in Hall H during a, a bunch panel. of signs that raise that during the Marvel panel, that would be pretty cool. Maybe we got to run that by Mister uh, Mister Hardball right there. I'm sure he's listening. Yeah, yeah. It, it's amazing <laughs> the oh, amount. The of, okay, it's amazing the amount of people that just are not familiar with with the Snyder Cut campaign or really what Snyder has done or what happened to him. They it, the amount of people that I talk to, whether it's online or, you know, or, or at work or something like that, or yeah. just uh, an acquaintance that I talk to that just has no clue. And somehow they piece together that Justice League was a Snyder movie. It just blows my mind. 
But if we can, I think the um, the Snyder Cut, the release of the Snyder Cut being at Comic-Con with all those people, if it gets people wondering, like, well, what does that even mean? That they, they may have no clue. We're, I mean, we're, we're deep into this. So, yeah. you know, a, a lot of... <laughs> so a, a lot of us you know we we care about this but uh <laughs> oh, that's personal info you gotta cone it you, gotta cone it. you can't go like that you gotta cone it oh man but <laughs> oh this, this just went, went sideways oh hey i don't hey care. oh You're yeah supposed to go. <laughs> but uh, yeah it's uh, i i think it's it's good stuff you know if we can uh just get it more really, people knowledgeable and, and really start to understand. And then the fact that there's positive things that are attached to it as well, um, you know, <laughs> such as uh, raising for suicide prevention, um, raising a ton of money for that. And then I think people will really start to wonder and, and, you know, and maybe join, join in and, you know, start really fucking pushing for something. Well, like, I mean, the, the, the best thing that I heard from Eric tonight was the fact that, now these guys, I mean, like he said, last year, everybody was thinking there was going to be an announcement, you know. Except for us. Yeah, and me, obviously. Yeah, I know you, but it was funny. Uh, to go back real quick with that uh, with that that thing with Wes Ashley when he was said that, like, you were the only one saying it. I'm like, I know we're tiny and no one gives a shit about us, <laughs> but, we're, but, we're but we were talking about? You got shirts. <laughs> yeah, we got shirts that cost more than oh. the camera we're using right now. <laughs> but, but we were squeaking in the corner. We actually literally did an episode when he was uh, when he was at that hotel uh, over pretty much yeah, fifteen minutes from the, the water. Yeah. We did a little we did a little joke like his head slowly coming up the map or whatever yeah. like with the jaw steam <laughs> and stuff. We did that, but we literally specifically did an episode that episode where for the first five or six minutes we just talked about the room rates of the hotel that he was at, <laughs> the com the com the, uh, the accommodations and yep. stuff the dinners, the breakfast. And like, we just did that just to totally wash it over. Like, yeah, this is what he's doing. Yep. And that was it. Like, that's like all <laughs> yeah, we did. I know. And I even like, when people are like, oh, there's no way that he would just go there. And I, and when I, when I talked to my guy, he goes, oh yeah, he goes there all the time. And I went, oh, okay. But it, is it convenient? He goes, yeah, maybe, but he's not going to be there. And I went, okay, that's all I needed to know. And then I went, hey guys, no, it's not going to happen. And holy shit. I felt like, I felt like John McClane after just running through that fucking the Nakatomi Towers yeah. <laughs> with bare yeah. feet yeah. <laughs> after that week. I felt like that. I was just, I was like, this guy's, I was like, guys, you know, Saturday morning, I was like, guys, it's not happening. And I was laughing and I had a fucking revolver strapped to my back. Yeah. You know, that's the way I felt. I was just like, because I was just, God, there were so many people that just came up because, I mean, it was mainly because. Other people were saying, like, no, he's going to be there. He's going to be there. And I went, no, that's not what I'm hearing. And I try to, like, soften the blow, like, hey, I, I don't know. Maybe they're hearing something else. But the fact of the matter is, the, uh, what Eric said was the fact that now they're accepting the fact that it's not going to be announced. And we could be in there for the long haul. So they're not just going to be like, they're just going to put the word out there. And I think that's a good thing. I really do. Yeah, you. I, I really think that's that's – the best approach and really all that, that I mean, mainly you, but us you know, over here in the corner as well, that yeah. we're trying to talk about is, you know, don't, this could be in for the long haul because every time that, you know, nothing would get released on this day or, or, or someone's video didn't really mean what we thought that it meant. And then all of a sudden Twitter blows up and people are, are arguing with each other over, over nonsense and, Oh, well, see, I told you or, or whatever. And, but really taking a step back and go, okay, well, it wasn't this time. Let's move forward to the next thing. And the amount of just drama that's created by what what people think might happen that eventually doesn't happen, and then fuwb again, and <laughs> and and really, it's it's not going to be a three month thing. It, this no, this not. is in for the long haul. Well, so well, that's the thing with the, with the Donner in. cut. Even people keep using yeah. the Donner cut as a reference. Well, look what happened. Okay, even when they acknowledged the Donner cut, they acknowledged it in two thousand four. It took still wow. two years after acknowledging it to get through the legalities to actually put the cut together and, and to release it. It took over two years just at that point. Now we have even bigger issues because with the, the Snyder Cut, as we can pretty much gather, there's going to be all new actors. I think even Clay Ano said this. There's a whole new IMDb. It's a whole different movie. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole different legalities. There's so much to it. And then it's it getting finished is almost the last thing on the list of the list of problems getting that thing going. 
to me anyway. I could be wrong. I'm just guessing at this fucking point. Mm -hmm. well, that, well, that's all we can do. We can't. We don't know. I mean, it could be announced tomorrow for all we know. You know. But then it would still probably take years before exactly. it ever ever gets released, and that's and why. Then of course, and then there's the debate about like how much is it finished, you know? And that's that's been a big thing too. Like, what are the fifty one percent? That's what I say. Huh? I say fifty one percent. That means it's more finished than it is not finished. Good job. I like that. Well, you how are, fucking are Christ sure. is right of you. Yeah, one dollar. <laughs> he did. He just bet a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. Oh man. Insert family guy clip. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. No, no, no. But like, you know, when it comes to the VFX, I mean, I've been saying the same number forever, and certain other people have said it. You know, I, I think you guys even mentioned it that uh, you know, the queen of this whole thing, Fiona, last year said 80% mm -hmm. is done. Yeah. And I will not stop saying that because I am getting curious of, what's not done though. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we've seen some of that with like the uh, ascended ancient, whatever. I think we'll yeah. see. I think yeah. that is part of it. That's why it was released. I mean, and I know a lot of people think like, oh yeah, well Snyder has his own production; he could just hire people to do it. No, it doesn't work like that. Like yeah. VFX costs millions and millions of dollars, and if you want it to be, if you want it to look good, which Snyder, of course, wants it to look perfect. I mean, look at his shots in his previous movies. He wants the VFX to look really good, not some half-ass fucking, you know, you know, put a head, a floating head on a body, which some other franchises have sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just he wants it to look good. That's why, I mean, when I had Chris Dawson, when he was talking about, you know, doing the VFX and researching Snyder's uh, shots, and I don't know if you guys listened to that whole podcast, but... You know, the fact that Chris Dawson knows what it takes to do VFX for a lot of these shots. And then he kind of broke it down, like what Snyder does. And we talked about how he'll shoot stuff at night or he'll shoot stuff at dusk where there's low light, where the background looks really nice, but it's dark. You know, it's not daylight. Yeah. And, that, and I, I, I'll say it time and time again, as much as I can enjoy Civil War, if they just didn't have it during that time of day where it's just... Ugh. I don't know. I don't, I don't even go in. I'll go into that, but it's just yeah. Civil War sucks ass. Just say it. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> no, it's, no. it's I, like I, just just shoot shit at. Uh, just shoot shit at night. Shoot. Well, shit the shield doesn't look good at night. No. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. He's, America's ass can't be seen that well. Oh, at night. oh god. But then again, Endgame. Endgame looked like it was happening at like dusk, and it looked decent. It looked good. Mm -hmm. it was, uh, yeah, the the last battle. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it made it, it epic. Better. Yep. Yeah, it was, sure. it, and and, that, and that's the thing. I think a lot of people are like, "Hey, look, they're they're ripping off blah blah blah." But I'm like, "Well, just because it looks like that, yeah, because it's happening during that time of day, and there's fire. Oh, there's like a little flame like in the background or in destruction." But um, yeah, when well, we were Snyder liked it, so that they're copying. So that means it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's confirmation, man. Yeah. Likes are all about confirmation now. I mean, uh, that's another thing too that kind of it's getting to me where it's just like. Everybody just takes a like as, oh, that's confirmation for this. I mean, even recently when I when I, talking about the Ray Porter stuff, when he did uh, the 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 Project SnyderCon, um, or not SnyderCon, but Project Comic Con, uh, the video that he did. I'm sure you guys heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he kind of teased the voice and everything, and then he did a tweet that said, you know, no EQ, no this, no that. And everybody's yeah, like, that's right. confirmation. And he liked my tweet that said it was confirmation. And I'm like. I still don't know. I'm trying to get verification for that. I still don't know if that was him or if that was Heinz. I don't know. I still haven't heard back about that, which sucks. But a lot of people are like, oh, dude, that's confirmation right there. He liked my tweet. Yeah, like, I, I don't know why. Snyder liked uh, one of our videos that was posted on Vero uh, or, you know, or someone sharing it or something to that effect. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's watching no. it. Uh, and so that's, well, okay. Sorry, Dave. No, of course not. <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would he watch that? No, but like, you know, I'm sure that... he does. Like, but I'm, I'm just, you know, and, and when Way I said, buy it, yeah, back. don't back Way to buy it don't back, back, your fence sitter. <laughs> I know, right? I'm I have so a fucking... No, no, no. But, like, like him liking something is, I don't know why he does that, but it doesn't, it doesn't confirm yeah. anything. At least not well, for me. I need more like, solid yeah. evidence that yes, this is exactly what it means, or you know, someone sharing it. Yeah. Obviously. Some of the things that we got with Ray Porter, we can for sure say, okay, he was dark side. Snyder saying, oh, I loved his voice, things like that. Yeah. But, you know, other things of just liking a post and then saying that's your concrete evidence that, that yep, he's going to be here 
or we're getting it at this point, or this is exactly what happened. That just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I mean, the only thing is like, it's like, I, I, I think that maybe, maybe he does. I actually click on certain videos, but if he's like listening to an entire podcast, I don't see that because he's a busy man, but maybe he'll like, if you guys post a video and he'll watch like the first minute or two, maybe he'll do something like that. I don't know. To me, it's like, you know, when we were at the Snyder Con event, one of the things that he told me, which was like, oh my God, you know, he said like, hey, I appreciate what you do. That's what he told me. And I went, oh, cool. I don't know what he told you guys. I mean, I know the whole 240, 214 thing. That was awesome. You, when, yeah. When you, yeah. When Matt came up to me and was like, hold, he's all check your poster, man. He circled something. I went, what? And we all just kind of freaked out. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> the- that was crazy. Okay. Okay. Run it, run it by everybody. When you, uh, when we were waiting in line, because we we're obviously in line together, you guys were behind me. I did my thing Yeah. And I right. wanted to, I wanted to say stuff yeah, yeah. and this, but I just kind of went up there, <laughs> just the read and blah, 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 blah. But what did you guys ask him? What did you guys specifically say to him or ask him? Okay. I'm going first. Well, you were uh, first. Uh, you were ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was the head. I just asked about uh, man of steel is my f- favorite movie that he's done. So I just asked, was man of steel, your, your final version. Uh, did you have anything else? Uh, was there a director's cut deleted scenes? And he said there, there were some deleted scenes, but nothing that, that was his final version. And, okay. and Matt and I had talked about it afterwards, probably oh, yeah, because no one we, actually, you know, kept WB off his back. Yeah, most part. So. We talked about that in line. Like that's yeah, right. Asked if there was an actual like director's cut of Man of Steel, but yeah, yeah I was curious. He has a director's cut about because everything. Christopher and then... Nolan was like, "Fuck off, you assholes! Let him do his shit." Yeah, it's really great. Yeah, yeah. So I, as as you know, because we yeah. were talking about this in line, mm-hmm. uh, my question kind of kept varying because <laughs> it, it was it was <laughs> it was. Uh, it, I remember originally when we were about an hour out from him. I think it was. <laughs> I think I'm going to ask so him. So halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so oh I think God, it was. was Online. It was uh, how complete is your movie? Was what yeah. I was going to say. And uh, and I think you and I started talking about it back and forth, back and forth, and yeah. we're like, oh, maybe it should be more, uh, more exact, more a direct question, like exactly, like VFX runtime, like that was kind of like where we came down to it. And I tried to rally up the team and like, everybody should ask a specific question in this point, this point, you guys all said, fuck you. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got, I, so he asked his man of steel question. <laughs> Dave asked him about like, chins or some I shit. Know, I, I know. <laughs> I asked about that and chins. I know. We're, I know we suck. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but, he got exhausted. Another, but he got a great hey, video out of it. I him, made right? him laugh. And a yeah. lot of, yeah, a lot of people cool. that don't like me use that image. It's crazy. It's yeah. Weird. But you're cropped out. I know. So I'm totally count. cropped out. You see my hand. You see my wrist. <laughs> my hand. There's my hand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was yeah. so weird. <laughs> but, uh, and so, yeah, when I got up there, I just uh, creepily asked him, looking into his eyes, um, saying, uh, what's, <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the runtime for your, what's the runtime? I, oh, I said, hypothetically, if there was another cut of Justice League, because who the knows what you got, who the hell knows what you got to say at this point? Yeah. But, uh, if there is another version of Justice League, uh, what's the runtime and how complete are the VFX? And he already circled the thing on the poster, and he said, "Well," that, and he pointed down to that. That's your runtime. And then he looked at me and he said, "Well," uh, and I was like, "Oh, the VFX." And he's like, "Uh," and he kind of like did this and incomplete. So I couldn't get a. I, even though I kind of was trying to get a percentage yeah. for the most part, he, he wasn't going to give me one. And I kind of like paused, and I was tempted to kind of gr- try to grill him a little bit, like try to like, "No, come on, give me, tell me, tell me." But then the 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 uh, the chick from three hundred there was whipping me down the lane. Ah! Go, you know, <laughs> forward. <laughs> and and so, trying to move the line along, yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, and I just did that, and <laughs> just slid the poster down to to uh, Deborah, and then she asked yeah. me like, do I know what he circled? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, did you ask him about it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then like I went down to Larry Fong, and I. And I asked him about uh, why he wasn't the cinematographer on Man, oh, of, Man Steel. of Steel. Yep. And he kind of told me it was because uh, it was. Oh, you did ask him? I did ask him that too. And I don't think I got an answer, to be honest. <laughs> oh, well, cool. He likes my face better. So yeah, he, he, I, got an answer. <laughs> I got an answer. I got an answer was uh, uh, he basically, he kind of, I mean, whether or not this is a legitimate answer or not, I have no clue. But he, he was trying <laughs> to say that the production company, because it was Christopher Nolan's, uh, what is that? 
Sin copy, Sin copy, or oh, uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't even. Name yeah, it. yeah. They didn't really know of him, as I guess he said, and so uh, they brought in the other guy, Amir Maf. Yeah. Amir Mafu or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other guy, <laughs> not guy. Larry Fong. And then the, uh, not Larry Fong. And then yeah. the uh, stunt yeah, non Larry Farm. Yeah, Farm. The, the, the stunt coordinator guy said Larry was missed also as well on Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then it was funny too because the guy Mick D brought his Man of Steel Blu-ray and got it signed by Larry Fong, and Larry Fong signed the other dude's name <laughs> on the Man of Steel. <laughs> on the Man of Steel copy. Even Mick wow, D was really. Yeah, Mick D was showing us his uh, his his uh, Blu-ray copy of Man of Steel. It was hilarious, and he signed it like all weird and shit. Like, it was great. It looked like crayon. It looked like a fourth grader did it or some shit. <laughs> so, yeah, it yeah. It, so that's you know that's what it was. The post, and then I went upstairs and yeah, and, and, that's and I you, and like, I saw you your poster as you were. You're like, what? Look at your poster. He circled yeah. something, and we all went, "What the fuck?" And there it was, two fourteen. Oh, and then we all. Here. Hey Chris, huh? did, did, I want to ask Chris Wong because I've been meaning to ask him. Did he circle the the two fourteen on your poster, Chris? Answer in the comments if you're still here. I don't know if he's still there. He's Chris. I, hey, I, Mr. Chris Wong, you still here? We should probably get him into this thing. Fuck, why not? Because because I was curious of like who he selectively circled because he didn't circle Shane's. He didn't circle really? the two fourteen. Yeah, he didn't circle the two fourteen on Shane's. Like I did. distracted him with my beautiful face. Yeah. Anyway, no. oh dang, you were I'm hitting. To... You were hitting on him, right? He was yeah, looking at exactly. your chin after Dave's rubbing his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You, like, you have hey, two chins. I really enjoy what you do. Yeah. yeah. And so I was really curious if there was any reason, rhyme or reason, to him circling uh, the two fourteen. I don't know if Chris is here anymore. Well, you know what it. the thing is? The thing is, is like I didn't ask about it. I didn't do anything, but he circled mine. So right. he knew. That's the thing. It's like he knew who I was. I think he even said that. Oh, during, Chris said uh, I didn't get a question until after. Okay. Hey, Chris, you want to join this little program? You want to join? Ah, da, da. Let me know. I don't know if I can stream handle this many. Uh, I think it can. <laughs> I mean, you just know, like, overall. I know. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Bring back Eric. Really add this. Really so he this. circled it himself. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he that? Said, <laughs> he circled it himself. This guy. What but the thing is, like, it's crazy because I didn't ask, I didn't do anything, that, but he circled it anyways. And I'm like, what the fuck? So he knew it, it's so weird because, you know, it, it, it's pretty crazy to, uh, to, I think there was even a time where I think me and Chris Wong before, I don't know, when was it? I don't know. But, it, but Snyder during that event, when he was talking, he goes, those guys right there. And I know those guys. And it looked like he was pointing at us and we kind of went, what the fuck is he talking about us? And it's just you—you you wonder like how much does Snyder know about this community yeah, and who? I, I, what, you was, know, like, what was funny is uh, about that point when when he had pointed down, I was like, "Holy shit!" Because he he did he said something like, "Yeah, I know." You guys are sitting there too, are. like, yeah. And and I, I was like, "Holy shit!" And then afterwards, Matt. Uh, you know, brought me down to earth, and he's like, "Well, you realize we were sitting next to Film Junkie and Chris Wong." I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." <laughs> hey, you never know. I'm not trying to put on camera. So even if like he did listen to our shit, I, yeah, it's not, if, he's really good, if he's really good at recognizing voices, then that would be I just amazing. He, yeah. Well, we have pretty fantastic voices. Oh so. yeah. We, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I think maybe he recognized me from the night before at Watchmen when I yelled. Yeah, because awesome. I got yeah. I sprung up out of the well, I kind of sprung up out of the chair to a limited point and uh and, and yelled and then he like looked right at me and shit. And so maybe he's like, Oh hey, look, there's the fat guy with the shitty facial hair. That, that, that's the guy from last time. He's a lot closer. Yeah. Ask the questions in the back. Yeah. It's, uh, but so that's kind of like where uh maybe, maybe he recognized me from that and that's why he circled the thing. I was just trying to figure out why it seemed to be random. Of who he was yeah, circling. Because the... it didn't seem like everybody had that on their poster. Yeah. It's yeah. That, that's really weird. Hey, Chris, I'll tell you mine for uh well, whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it, so not much. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> I know from experience. <laughs> oh, hey. Mr. Dawson's in the live chat. That's cool. But um, yeah, it's just I mean, it, it was a fun event. I mean yeah, it was a blast. But it was a lot. It was a lot of fun, especially watching BVS with everybody who loves that movie. I mean, we were all sitting next to each other. We were like directly in the middle, and I just remember thinking, like halfway through, "Fuck, I have to pee," but I was not <laughs> gonna get up. I was not gonna get up because it's like it's an old school theater where you literally have to like, you know, you would have to. Yeah, we were all like, like this. Yeah. Dave. Dave is obviously not a very tall guy, and yeah, I'm like. Not. 
you were all just like sardined in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah and I'm just yeah. Like, I'm trying not to be the really fat guy. I'm I trying know. To, like, I felt I felt bad for you because like I mean I was getting warm. You were probably warm. We were all just getting kind of warm. warm I remember yeah. you even like warm you even warmed us too because you guys were at the Watchmen when it was like yeah. oh, it was rough. And we had more space at the Watchmen one. Yeah, because so, we were at the so, Watchmen so, one. Yeah, we were like we, we could spread like, out a little bit. Out, like, yeah, but like, <laughs> it, it, it was still you it was wearing still, no pants. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't you like to know? I saw some Matt, I saw some Matt right there. <laughs> uh, and it was funny is we were even making fun of this couple. They brought in like these cushions to the Watchmen one. We're like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Like, that's, that's so random. These these like uh, patio furniture cushions that they yeah. brought in. But then Geniuses. you realize that was smart. <laughs> yeah. 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 Trendsetters yes. right there. <laughs> but that, that whole event was a blast. I, I really hope some way whether it's is you know with Snyder or or maybe just as as a group um that you know project Comic Con or something yeah we could do something uh, rent out a theater that was just that was really cool to feel you know you go to sporting events and you're around people that you don't know but you're all rooting for the same team that's that's kind of what that felt like people you know just cheering applauding um, yeah. During a movie that we've all seen a hundred times. Oh my god! It's it like the help. opening credits was like. I mean, I we even made the jokes. So it was like the opening credits is literally Bruce Wayne's parents getting killed, and everybody's going, <laughs> Woo! Yeah. "Yeah!" Well, they did that during the Watchmen <laughs> one. Yeah. When when the when it's like, uh, what is that? Something <laughs> whores or whatever. It was like you, yeah, you know, whores. Like somebody's name came up, like woo. Yeah. <laughs> And then when all Whores, the yeah, all the hippies get shot, <laughs> boom, <laughs> the way, yeah, yeah, killed yeah. right now. Yeah. It's supposed to be a sad scene, and everybody's clapping for everything. But yeah, it was it, fun. It was yeah. it was awesome. But it, uh, yeah, and I, you know, and it makes me wonder too. Is like, if we're ever gonna get the Snyder cut of Justice League, I would not be surprised if he were to do like another event for just to show that with his fans. I mean, if you thought like just watching BVS, the Ultimate yeah. Cut. With everybody, I mean, imagine watching the Snyder Cut with like a bunch of people. But he would have to definitely rent out like an actual like big theater because I think there would be a ton of people that would yeah. show up to that and just to have make sure everybody's comfortable. Because well, I, I mean, well, we had we had talked about when when they redo that theater, how yeah, cool would it be to? Well, I think he even said that. Like he was talking about when they yeah. redo the thing there, he was going to start screening certain movies there. Yeah, and didn't he hint? He hinted at some on the um on think on the Watchmen night where he said maybe, um, what did he? He said something along the lines of oh maybe one that someone that people don't want to see. Like he was kind of trolling. Well, a movie a that's no one, that no one's ever seen. Yeah, that no one's ever seen. Yeah, yeah. some along those lines were like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, so that that would be really that's awesome. You know, what, there, once yeah. it's completely redone, uh, you know, having. That would be that'd be insane. I couldn't imagine. It'd be, yeah, I yeah, I I couldn't even imagine either because I mean, just watching BVS with everybody and everybody just cheering for ev all these moments and you know when when um, when characters show up for the first time, everybody's cheering and just I I, I can only imagine just watching a three and a half. I mean, we got to make sure that we got to have to have like piss jars. I think at our seats, but <laughs> you know, but um. Maybe they'll just, add that in in the renovation. I know exactly like a little thing right there. Yeah, just like <laughs> catheter just stuck in there, a little bag on our strapped to our legs. Um, yeah, just watching all that and watching the the Snyder Cut of Justice League. I mean, I mean that's what we're wanting to see. I mean, I think a, most of us are just kind of going, okay, we're not going to get that five part story arc. Hopefully, we'll get it in some kind of form. Maybe we'll get a graphic novel or something. That whole story eventually one of these days, but. I mean, when it comes, and I think that's where, when it comes to this fandom, and I think where a lot of the fighting happens with some of the more, you know, vocal ones that just kind of, eh, you, you just got to wonder, it's like, okay, if we got the Snyder Cut, what else, what, what's going to happen after that? Are you guys going to fight for Ben Affleck and Zack Snyder to come back? And I, I've even made a stink about it. It's like, do you really want them to come back to the madness that they had to endure for like the last five yeah. years? I mean, Jesus I, Christ. All honesty, when Ben Affleck said he was gone, I was like, finally. just Yeah, like, exactly. Like, I thought, I was like, good, good for you, man. You've been struggling. Yeah, exactly. You went, through, you went through a divorce. You fell off the wagon. You know, Multiple you have, times. Yes. And it's just like this, this role Yo, this really bullshit. stressed yeah. me out. Yeah. And I mean, and I remember when he was trying to uh, promote his uh, Live By Night movie and he got he went off on a little rant saying like everybody wants to ask about batman 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 and he kept on saying and it's like yes that must get annoying because you're trying to promote your movie 
and everybody's asking you about your Batman movie. And then all of a sudden your movie comes out and it doesn't do well at the box office. And you're just like, fuck, because of Batman. That's the immediately, I'm sure that's what he thought of it. Yeah. I mean, so, it's, yeah. it, I don't know. It, 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 when, when it comes to both of them, yeah. And I, I just don't think, I think Snyder's probably going to stay over with Netflix and probably do. Oh, that's good. He, he's that's probably going to do the least amount of mainstream movies because in all honesty, he's just not, I mean, he kind of is in some sense, but he's just not really a mainstream director, he's especially not. this he's day and age. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and basically in this day and age, he's just not. Like when you, when you see with the, especially this year with all the blockbusters and stuff, some failing, some doing well, whatever the hell it is. A lot of the Disney movies are doing well. A lot of the other ones are not. It's, it's, it's a world that's built in a certain way now with movies. And it's, yeah. and it's become so reliant on that foreign box office. And that's oh why we get God. movies presented in a way that we do now. And I just don't, Snyder is just going to be a guy that he makes the movie and he's going to hire the people he wants for the roles that he wants for whatever reasons he wants. Not because it's, hip or cool or it's the whatever the right fucking jerk or, off or thing mandated. to do. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, or it's going to help the foreign box office really. That's just not his thing. And no, so for him to be involved with mainstream movies, it's just probably, it's just, it's, that's why him coming back to the DC, I just think it's just, it's never going to happen. No, he, yeah. And, and, yeah. When people say like, oh, bring back Snyder, bring back Affleck. I'm like, no, no, no. Those guys, they are now off doing their own separate projects that they want to do and they have the freedom to do and they're at peace they're at peace the whole thing they, they tried their thing and it, and i always told people too it was like ben affleck signed on for snyder's vision he didn't sign on for a solo batman movie it was just thrown upon him like hey people as much as the, the backlash happened with bvs people are digging your batman even like the people that didn't really like bvs they still like your batman we want you to do a batman and guess what? He, you know, for as far as I could tell, him and the guy with the ball cap didn't really, you know, they huh? kind of clashed. Yeah, what? That, oh, <laughs> no, yeah, you, yeah, you and Ben Affleck, you guys have some clashing with each other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy with his ridiculously good chin. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it's just he tried and it just didn't work. And now we're going to get a whole new Batman, which I'm still excited for. But I don't want those guys to come back and have to endure like any of that anymore. You know, I want them to move on and make their movies. I think Army of the Dead is going to be something pretty spectacular. And I hope yeah. after that movie comes out, I hope to read like I just read about the fucking Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston movie that, oh, 30 million accounts logged in and watched this movie. And I hope to hear that for Army of the Dead. And uh, then Snyder could be like, yay, cool. People like, you know, some of my shit. Cool. Sweet. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was on Netflix. It was like, man, I want to say Black Summer. Was Black it? Is it, it, it was a zombie? Oh, I heard. I've heard of that is one. Is that yeah. what it was called? Yeah, I, I never watched it, but it was. There's, it so, was... there's so much stuff on Netflix that doesn't get promoted. Yeah, I don't understand how how they keep on like. You have to be Adam Sandler. <laughs> the only things, the only thing, yeah, the only things that get promoted are like their big movies with big stars. Like Bright got promoted. Triple Frontier got promoted, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then Stranger Things gets promoted, but that's about it. I mean, like yeah. like some of the series do, but there, the, there's so much content on there. I always scroll on there. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Well, and it looks interesting, and I'll watch it. I'm like, wow, that was really good. Why was this not promoted? Well, yeah, like this Black Summer thing is like a series. It's almost like Walking Dead, but <clears throat> it's done from a very different perspective. It's very yeah, unique zombie look, and it's from – all these it's kind of like a group of people it starts out with all these individuals as episodes and they all kind of run into each other eventually and then shit just keeps going down and uh and <coughs> for the most part it was it's a pretty cool show i like to and then today with netflix as you said about advertising i just watched this movie called i am mother which Never is just heard of it yeah <laughs> and so i i was i kind of ran across it on somewhere and somebody was talking about it and i was like Huh, and it's just basically post-apocalyptic world, and no humans are left, and the, there's like a robot that's just taking care of like embryos and grows one and sees how it turns out, see if it's a worthwhile human, basically. And wow. it's just a weird movie. It's just a robot that looks really good, actually. Uh, it's wow. more practical and a little mix of CGI, and and uh, and and then the 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 woman, and that's pretty much it. That's all it is, and it's just a very basic, weird apocalyptic movie. I mean, it seems like Netflix, when it comes to like somebody pit pitching an idea, they go like, okay, so here's my, here's my story. It's called I am mother. And they go, sold. It's fine. Go, go. Right. Here, yeah. Here's, here's a, here's a few million dollars. Go, go make it. 
it's like they're just they just want content 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 but i think it it might have to do with the fact that maybe because disney and then soon warner brothers is going to be there's going to be a huge like streaming war that's going to happen where oh, yeah. everybody's just going to be like uh, you, you already know disney plus is coming out and they're going to be pulling everything that they have on netflix off of netflix to put on theirs warner brothers is going to swallow up the dc universe and that's just going to be a category in theirs it's going to be crazy I don't and know. So Warner Media is going to take all their stuff exactly. off of Netflix as well. Yeah. So exactly. Netflix is going to be down to like Lionsgate and Fair their amount. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to. Yeah, it's going to be bare bones. So I think that's why Netflix is like, it's almost like they're preparing for it. And they're just like, hey, let's just original content. Let's get it. Go, 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 go. Because they're the dominant streaming service right now. You know, and then, of course, you have Hulu. But that's, you know, that's all kind of a different. That's a whole different beast. But. Not a whole different beast, but a, kind of a different beast. But yeah, as soon as Disney and Warner Brothers, you have two big studios that are going to try to tap into this whole streaming thing. It's going to be it, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with all that. And I'm here for it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm enjoying. Yeah, different world we live in now for sure. Yeah. You guys watching Swamp Thing or Doom Patrol? What do you guys think about those? I got, I got to, I think I've only, I've only gotten to two episodes of Swamp Thing. How you like and that? It? And that was different. Again, I, I'm just, it's just like, wow. It, again, it's, it kind of reminds me, and I think this was the point of them, but the Netflix uh, Marvel movies. And yeah. it's just, it's just a different series. vibe. Huh? You said movies, series. Oh, series. Yeah. Like Jessica yeah, Jones, ne ne <laughs> Daredevil and stuff like that. It's yeah. just, it, it gives me that kind of tone and just, it's. Slow pace, especially with Swamp Thing. Anyway, oh, the first it episode, up. it builds up, man. and then it builds and builds and builds, and it's just a, and it and it looks good. It looks great for the most part. Oh, God, and, man, the and Doom, of that movie, of that show is crazy. And Doom Patrol, I don't know. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Yeah, it, 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 I'll admit, I'll admit, like as much as I'm enjoying Doom Patrol, I'm not watching it as frequently as I was watching Titans. Yeah, Titans, right. I was like watching. I think it's because I'm more familiar with those characters and I wanted to see how it was going to play out. Right. Doom right. Patrol, I'm taking more of my time. But Swamp Thing has really grabbed my attention. I'm really enjoying the aesthetic and the whole story with that. Probably because I was always like a fan like of the original movie, of the cartoon, and I had the figurine and collected the comic book, so I was more into that. But Doom Patrol, I think it's just because it's so out there. I mean... I mean, you literally have like an episode that takes place with like a fucking up in a goat's ass. Donkey. Yeah. Yep. Donkey. It's a I donkey's mean, ass. Yeah, yeah really a weird. donkey. That's what it is. Sorry. A yeah. donkey. And it's just yeah, like. Get it right. Yeah. You gotta get the right sphincter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a weird show. And then. It's uh, very the, strange. The, but the traveling street and shit and yeah. uh, all the characters that are in that. And yeah, it's just the Flex Metallo one was just. Uh, that was a different one. That was that I don't was think definitely I got to that point yet. No. Oh yeah, that was just a whole different level of weird shit that they yeah, got to. Yeah, because yeah, doesn't he flex and cause people to have orgasms or something like that? It, yeah, apparently yeah. he's yeah he's, he he did he flexed <laughs> the wrong muscle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw and, the clip. I haven't reached that episode yet, but I saw the clip where he's just doing that, and everybody's like, eh. it's like. <laughs> I, the, the funniest I, part is Brandon Fraser faking it because he's a robot and he's got no feelings. Yeah. So he's like, oh, oh, well, that's the thing. Oh. Like Brandon Fraser as you know as as a robot is like he's like he's the he's the best part of the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah. By because far. he's always like, what the fuck, and he's just yeah. always cussing and he's always just like, what the fuck's going on? You guys are crazy and <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah. He's he flexed the right muscle. Is that Wrong. what it is? Wrong muscle because he was trying to open up another dimension uh, and instead he makes everybody orgasm wow see i haven't got to that episode yet i'm probably going to get to it this weekend but yeah. I, I always equate mr nobody with jeff johns i feel like that's how jeff johns is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just coming in just and being like fuck you with everything yeah fucking with all the kind of stuff yeah you thought it was going to go this way but it's actually going to go this way adding a shitty donkey farting joke no, oh, jeez, and you got a one or two. Like, what's happening with his Green Lantern? We haven't heard shit about his Green Lantern. Remember that? Yeah, it was like oh, I remember. Yeah. yeah, everything is just uh, slowly fading into the abyss. Yeah, it was like it was like okay. Birds of Prey, though, so that's cool. What, what's funny is too is like he had a hand in the original Green Lantern movie, mm -hmm. you know, and that we oh, all yeah. know how that turned out. I mean, literally, 
great he worked on the movie said there wasn't a script and it was like they were just basically winging it but when it comes to green lantern Corps, it's just like okay they said that johns was writing it cool you know just write it don't that's all you need to do johns you don't need to do anything else <laughs> You're not good with the whole movie stuff and everything. Yeah, I, I feel like he's a great comic book writer, yeah. but movies but like, like, bro, yeah, yeah, you gotta touch. like back off. Back <laughs> yeah, off. You, need to, you need to just back away. Let the movie makers do what they. I mean, it's just I don't know. That's the stuff I've heard. You know, him backstabbing Snyder and him just undermining and everything. It 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 it. it it boggles my mind because he's written some really good stories, dark stories. But for some reason, it's Snyder like, even uses some of his stories in Man of Steel. Yeah. And I don't and understand. It boggles who. my mind that he was like, no. But at the same time, I'm going, when I'm hearing, you know, from these people that talk about it, they go, well, he wanted to be Kevin Feige number two. Yeah. And I'm going, okay. So he had an ego complex. Political. Yeah, uh, and, he wanted okay, to be, this is what I have to say, yeah, what I have to do to, to get to this point. That's yeah. kind of how I interpret it a lot of things as well. Is that, yeah, he wanted the control, he was going to come in. And I remember they did like a, a, a special, um, you know, that he was kind of like the half ass host about, of like, oh, this is what, oh, we're yeah, gonna, with Kevin Smith, yeah, yeah we're gonna do, uh, oh, God, I remember you know, that. Yeah, and and you oh, get, that, that's the feeling you get is okay. Oh, Jeff Johns, like he's in control, and then when you really start to understand what went on behind the scenes, you're like, man, fuck this guy. And yeah. at, you know, at, at least that's how I looked at it. And yeah, very um, whatever I have to say and do to please the right people that will put me in a powerful position so that I can be yep, Feige number two. I'm going to be the savior of the DC universe, and yeah, just just yeah. didn't happen. I'm gonna hire Joss Whedon or whatever. What? Jeff Johns was involved with Lethal Weapon 4? <laughs> Who said what? That doesn't even make sense. Somebody said that. Stallone fan said that over here. Interesting. Sure. But uh yeah, no. But when it comes to Jeff Johns, it's like, all right, you're you're a good writer, you're good at come up, coming up with stories, but I don't know. Everything else, uh, I mean, it it just seems like everything was all ego, 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 ego. And like I said, he was trying to be Kevin Feige number two and it ended up not working out which is it's a good thing it's a good thing and i know there's some people out there and that's another division i guess that the dc fandom has is some people are like hey don't don't talk shit about jeff johns there's no evidence about it and then there's people that just think he's like snake 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 always talking about that and uh it's it kind of sucks because um it's you know i always try to respect the fact that he has written so many great stories and uh, hopefully we get to see these stories, you know, adapted to the big screen or at least to something streaming, whatever the hell. Um, hopefully we get to see those stories. He's written so many great stories. But when it comes to the movies, he just doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He just does not. It's well, with not him, the, the thing is, is that, you, yeah, it's Snake, whatever people want to call him. I just, yeah. I've just taken it as that's the movie fucking business. I mean, yeah. even looking oh, at it's well, that too. Well, yeah. Well, Donner, I, I, I mean, when we did our Donner cut video a while back, I mean, that was a thing. I went through a bunch of video footage of him talking about stuff, and he was talking about how he was pissed that he was about to go down and whip the producers of all kinds asses and shit. He was gonna take a plane yeah. and beat him up and stuff. And he's like, "Well, you know, actually, that's just that's just the movie business." And yeah. I think that's what Snyder kind of just accepted at one point was just it's the movie business. And he went and made Snow Steam Iron and just like, well, that, hey, back to my... And that's another, and that's another thing. thing, too, is like when people go like, man, this is happening all the time now, it seems, because we always hear about this stuff now. We hear about Dark Phoenix. That got fucked with. And a lot of these yeah, studios. Yeah. And I'm like, well, no, this has always been happening. It's just that we're now in the age of we always... We have information that just, that just yeah. shows up at our fingertips constantly. Well, I think what makes it more... That too, but also I think what it is is that studios now relying more and more on like focus groups, test screenings, yeah. algorithms, trying to figure out what gels and what's gonna pretty much give you the, the biggest what return formula on formula. What formula works. is yeah. gonna give you the biggest return on investment? And then so it's when those things start colliding with creative people, yeah. like even like with the predator, like Shane no, Black, I, I'm I'm 50 50 on the guy. Like he's done some things I liked. I personally hate iron man 3 that's probably uh -huh. my the biggest the my i hate iron man 3 more than any other ncu movie 
And uh, uh, so I was like, ah, whatever. But him taking over Predator, fine. Whatever. Try what you want to do. But you can tell that movie just got dicked with so oh. much. Oh, and man. obviously push back and push back. And and you you keep seeing that more and more. Obviously, with Dark Phoenix, you see that with uh, Suicide Squad. I mean, that mm -hmm. didn't get pushed back. But it's it's just this thing where I think the, the idea that the studio wants doesn't necessarily ever meet up with the creative minds anymore. And it's just becoming more of a struggle. Yeah, yeah. and the studios and have, are taking less risk. They're, uh, they're willing to take less risk. They really want something. And I think that's why we come across movies that you know are are plagued with all the the movie tropes because they, they feel uh, yep uh, this is what what the audience wants to see this is what's been successful in the past and that's not necessarily the case because they're just trying to crack that billion dollars or whatever it is yeah and, and what sucks about it too is like and and i remember when logan came out and i went and i even i talked to a friend who was actually uh, an online friend who you know he was a big bvs snyder fan and I went, dude, this is it. This is the paradigm shift. Everybody is, uh, everybody, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna shift. Everybody's gonna want like some of these kind of movies because Logan was a hit. It was a hit. Everybody, you know, was critically praised. It made its money. It, it, I was like, here we go, here we go. And then it's just that was it. You know, I was hoping like, oh, maybe that's gonna get injected into Venom when Venom comes out. They're gonna have a little bit of darkness to it, and this, that, and this. And no, to me, it felt like. They were trying to emulate an MCU movie. Sony was trying to emulate yeah, an yeah. MCU movie. And there's so many things in there that there's a lot of good things. I'll give it that. But there's a lot of things where I'm going, they were trying to make an MCU movie 100%. I mean, there's a fucking Venom Pomeranian in this scene. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. It's stupid shit. Well, he wasn't supposed to be another hero. That was the promotion, right? That yeah. was the marketing. We don't need another hero. We need whatever the hell Venom was supposed Anti to be. And I just became yeah it just became a generic by the book for the most part uh, origin story and, and he cut out so much i mean there was like so many scenes where he was struggling with it that we saw behind the scenes where he was literally doing the fucking venom dance like down the street and we just barely saw a little bit of that but there was apparently a ton of that that got cut out and i'm going that was the best part of the whole movie to me was like the fact that he was struggling with the with the mm -hmm. venom you know, going back and forth. And like, yeah. <laughs> what did they say in the trailer? Yeah, yeah. symbiote. Bio. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't remember how they said it in the trailer. Scott Bio. Yeah, yeah. It was. It, it's just this weird dynamic. It's just it's something we're seeing more and more in movies and like blockbusters yeah, and then, can be. They can have different things. Like you just go back to like the Matrix. That's. You know, that's a blockbuster. That's a mainstream it's blockbuster. R -rated but it's rated movie, too. Honestly. And it's R-rated. And like you were talking about with Logan. I still don't know why it's R-rated. Why is Matrix R-rated? Does anybody know that? Like, there's no F-bombs. There's no nudity. There's no crap. Why is it R-rated? Anybody? Well, he, does, he does flip Smith off, so I guess. Yeah, um, that's it. Um, this is, yeah. Can anybody guess why the Matrix is R-rated? I don't think anybody Probably Jesus themes because it's the nineties and there's all the Bible people. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, the allegory. But really, there there is like no reason why the Matrix is R rated. I always wondered like why headshots. That's what you're saying, Stephen. There's like no blood, barely. I don't know. That's always boggled my mind. I'm like, why is the Matrix franchise R rated? Like all of them are R rated, and I'm like, there's really no reason for it, but. I don't know, but when when it comes to that, and then of course people are like, oh, I blame Marvel. I blame Marvel. I'm like, well, you can't really blame Marvel. You just got to blame people because. Thank you. Yes, because Marvel figured it out. You yeah. can't blame them for that. They're running a business. They figured out their formula. Yes, we might not all like it, but the general public, they fucking flock to it. They love it. Okay, but the general public also likes variety. And the sad fact of the matter is, is like these studios are trying to like capture what Marvel's doing, but it's like, hey, sometimes you know, there's other movies that'll end up being big that aren't that, you know. Right. Like for instance, Logan was not a Marvel Studios movie; it was an R-rated dark movie, and people enjoyed the shit out of that. You know, I'm sure there's other examples. I can't think of them right now because I've had a lot of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the thing with uh, we were on uh, Zod Riders uh, show recently, yeah, and and we were kind of going back and forth about you know Disney and stuff like that. And I said, well, at what point do you start blaming the consumer? Yeah, because, yeah, you have to because you know when it comes to like their the streaming network and they're making it six ninety nine, 
or whatever the hell. I think right, six ninety nine. Yeah, yeah they're making it six ninety nine for all their content. They might do exclusive digital downloads for movies sooner than anybody else. So, like, huh. if if uh, if a movie like say Endgame, say the network was out now, Endgame would come out uh, sooner on digital download on their streaming service than anywhere than anywhere else for a month. So yep. anybody that's going to want the damn movie, they'll pay for it additionally on the streaming service. So they'll have they'll be able to eliminate that middleman. They don't have to pay digital download uh, people. They don't have to pay Amazon, Voodoo, and all those other uh, people. They just run it through them. They cut out all the middleman and gain all the profits from that. And they catch, they grab those people from the start. And then, so at what point do you start blaming the consumer when it comes to this? When we watch movies, what attracts people to movies? Because at this point, I'm critics suck i get that and <laughs> and it's fun to blame them in some yeah. sense when certain movies either do well or fail but at one point like with the captain marvel to me that is this is the most recent example of i don't understand what the fuck people were thinking yeah. when it came to captain marvel it, that, it, there's it, no way that movie should have made a billion dollars no but it, it was just the whole yeah I guess, I guess, <laughs> you know, whatever, female lead MCU right. movie. Maybe it was the fact that it, it was before Endgame and people thought it was going to be that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what drove people to there, but it, it was, it was a bad it's, movie. Yeah. It's just, it's it just the MCU now that, I mean, but I mean, they, you they, see they like Ant Man and stuff. Ant Man can't pull that off after like Affinity War. Yeah. No, it, it, but for a, some, no. and, or, or movies that came, you know, you don't see that. I mean, you saw that with Iron Man 3, it got a billion dollars because it came right after Avengers, but that was because it's fucking Iron Man. You're right. And it came after Avengers. Right. So that's that's what helps prope- propel that one. But, you know, Ant-Man, and we'll see what happens with Spider-Man here. I, I mean... Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one because it's like, you know, this is the first movie after Endgame. So, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty much sure that Spider-Man Home, uh, Far From Home is going to get a, a billion dollars, but... I'm just yeah. wondering, like, how you don't you don't think it's going to? I I I I, I see people. I mean, I don't know. At this point, I really don't I think it's that. going to. After Captain know. Marvel, I'm just told. I, 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 yeah, I, I I suck at predicting box offices. So I, I have no I reason. Aladdin was gonna bomb. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, and but, but with Chris Captain Ali. Marvel, I mean, you see it. There's literally a section of YouTube that makes a shit ton of videos and money off of hating Brie Larson. Oh, of course. Like, like there, there is a certain like it is its own market, <laughs> and, like for the most part. And to 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 have that section of YouTube and like it's you know YouTube has some influence to things, not maybe yeah. not a lot, but some. And uh, yet that movie came out and it drawed enough casuals, normies, whatever you want to call them, to make a billion dollars. It was a terrible script. I mean, it it was it was a bad movie. So much terribleness in that. And it made a billion dollars. And I was just like, mm-hmm. what are people thinking? What drew people to go see this movie? Because it can't be the trailers. Those trailers were awful. There, I just I don't understand that one. That was that was an enigma for me. That was I could not believe that. I, I do agree was- with Dave. I, I think that Far From Home will probably crack a billion dollars, but I, I am curious how the rest of the MCU will do now that kind of we've we have reached the pinnacle. Everything that they've been building up to Avengers Endgame now, kind of where does it go? I'm I would hope sort of that the general population starts to kind of get tired of it and go, okay, how many more can these can they pump out? We've we finally reached it. You've been building for it for eleven fucking years essentially, and and now now we did it. Here we are. Where does the MCU go from here? That's really what I'm curious about. But I think. Far from home is kind of in a they're in a good spot, just in, in my opinion, of where it's landing. It's still close enough to end game, but anything after that. But it's also right next to Lion King. Which oh my is, god, Jesus Christ. I keep forgetting about that one. My God. And so I think they're gonna neuter what, their what, own Lion, movie. Lion King comes out next year, right? Yeah. Or next next month. Sorry, next month. Yeah, I think uh wow. Far From Home comes out the first weekend yeah. of July. Of July and I think it's either the second or third weekend for Lion King. It's coming. It's coming together a week or two weeks after. Wow. See, that's the thing. It's like when they talk about box office. Oh, everything's failing. Stuff's failing. I'm like, that's because every there's like a blockbuster movie that comes out every week. Yeah. Like well, no that's what we, we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. There's like no breathing room. You know, when they talk about you know, especially lately, you know, with Godzilla's. Ah, oh, Godzilla's flopping. Uh, Men in Black International. Shaft. These franchise movies are f- flopping. I'm like, yeah, because you're releasing them all at the same time. You're not 
people don't want them. Who the fuck wanted another Men in Black unless they wanted to do something like different and cool with that? Did you guys see Men in Black? By the no. way, no, I, I refused. Yeah, don't do it. Please don't. It is so <laughs> bad. It is so bad. I mean, and then like listening, uh, reading the uh, behind the scenes drama for it, you know, and I'm reading that. Oh yeah, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. They got dialogue coaches, or not dialogue coaches, but dialogue writers to write punch up their dialogue. I'm like, really? That dialogue was awful. It's fucking awful. And it must be a nice cushy gig to be that person to get hired on to punch up dialogue. Right. <laughs> it's really bad. If it's really bad, you just blame the writer. That's like yeah. fucking credited. Hey, that's not me. That's that guy. And I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, you really going to, there's so many. And then the fact that, and I, and I remember even saying that in my, uh, my uh, review saying like F Gary Gray, this is a talented filmmaker made this fucking movie. Are you kidding me? And then when I find out the drama and how he wanted to leave the project many times ago, now it makes sense. And they dicked him just like they did with a uh, air. They, they, they screened two different versions. They screened his version and they screamed the producer's version and the producer's version got chosen just like with air. When he talked about that, there was multiple screenings and they went with a different, you know, they didn't went with a different cut than what his cut was, which was more Joker oriented. It's right. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, it's just this weird, weird time that it we're is. in. And the studios are fighting more and more with directors. Yeah. They're not yeah. letting them do what they basically hire them for. And yeah. now if there's actually a such thing as a dialogue punch upper or whatever that, that comes in that you can hire a third party guy you know, uh, that you can hire and bring in. I mean, that just shows that not even the actors believe in the script that they're, oh, they're yeah. signing up for. Yeah. But they're, <laughs> yeah, but they, they're just like, hey, you know, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, they're going to look good and they're going to be in this big franchise movie and that's all they really care about. And, and it's funny too, because one of the quotes from, I guess, uh, the Hollywood Reporter said like, the original script was good. You don't get a script this good and get Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson to sign up. And I'm going... What you're talking about the dude with that Ghostbuster Ragnarok? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was in that. Yeah, he needed a dialogue fucking motivator oh for that God. movie. I mean, it, yeah, even Hemsworth said that he almost thought like he shouldn't do Ghostbusters, but then ended up having fun with it. And I'm like, really? And it's like I get it, Hemsworth. You're a, you're a big studly dude. You well, want he almost the like Fat Thor. So yeah. that was more of his idea. Yeah, well, he says it it his idea. Ugh. Well, there's an interview where he's saying that he had more creative control going into this movie than he's ever had before. Yeah, and I remember hearing too, like he was uh kind of bumping heads with the Russos with Infinity War, going, "Hey man, I'm not, I'm not that serious now. I'm a different character. Yeah, yeah. Thor's a different character." And I'm like, "Really, dude? Just fucking, you know, let the writers do their thing. Let the filmmakers do their thing." You know, they'll give you a fucking, you know, they'll give you a punchline. Don't worry. But it's not like it has to be constant. Like your buddy Taishiki, whatever, or Ta Taikiti. Taiki, what? Yeah. 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 It's not like he's going to give you a punchline every other sentence, you know, but. Yeah, I still I remember, love Film Gob's tweet on uh, on Taika Waititi. What that was say? one of my favorite tweets of all time when it came to <laughs> Taika Waititi uh, being rumored for Gallion of Cigars. Gallant Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Uh, beforehand, he said, uh, Taika Watiti said no to Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because he used all his shitty jokes and Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> Dude, that was, that, that, I will that's remember that tweet one. for the rest that's a of good my one. life. That's a good you, one. That's that's a frame tweet right there. Well, he also did it like breaking news, is how he put it. That's right. Oh, is he that what it, he did? Yeah, he's like breaking news. Taika Watiti won't do Guardians of the Galaxy because he so used fantastic. all his I didn't shitty see jokes. That tweet, man. That, oh, it was a long time ago. It was obviously a long time ago before. Yeah, because I remember like, after Gun got fired, they were thinking, well, is uh, is he gonna take over? And then I just went like, well, I guess that makes sense because he essentially made a Guardians of the Galaxy movie with Thor Ragnarok, but. I actually enjoy, uh, well, the first one was, first Guardians, I enjoyed a lot, but the second one was eh, iffy, but when it came to, oh God, when it came to Ragnarok, I, I can't even watch, I can't, I can't even watch it, I really oh, can't, it's so uh, crazy. It, it was hilarious how, how terrible. terrible it was. That yeah. one, that one for me is a movie so bad I can laugh at. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what, what, what did I say at the end uh, when we were in theaters? Unfortunately, I've become this asshole that yells shit in the theater. <laughs> yeah, you are. When, when, when stupid uh, shit happens. Remember, yeah. remember when, yeah. the, when the oh yeah, when the when they're flying into Asgard and they conveniently on the ship have a thermal readout <laughs> of where, where all the Asgardians are, and then 
for some reason, Hera is a green dot going towards red dots. And, <laughs> and, and uh, she's like, oh, she's heading right for him. And I'm like, well, isn't that fucking convenient? <laughs> yeah. and, so and right in the middle of the theater. So and I, <laughs> it, I was just like, wow. It just That's when like a movie just gets so incredibly dumb that, that you wonder who wrote that. Who is that for? I mean, that's got to be either children or, yep. or I, yeah, maybe, that, I don't know, children. Yeah. That's it. That, that's the market. Mind. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, you, you know, some of the decisions that they make, you're like, okay, you know, when it came to like Thor Ragnarok, it's like, okay, you have this story, you have the source material, and then you just kind of go, well, let's just try to make it a little more like this. We're going to have that basis story. And I remember when Thor Ragnarok was announced, there was a lot of people that were excited for it because it's like, oh, this is a serious yeah. Thor story. And everybody was like, cool. And they even showed um the logo for it and it yeah, was the original all fucking, it almost it almost looked like a yeah. snyder one <laughs> middle earth like fucking like etched in stone thor yeah. ragnarok then all of a sudden like six months later they change it to this 80s fucking psychedelic font and everybody's going what the fuck what, what yeah. what's going on here what why did they change it that is a drastic change and then you see the trailer and you went uh okay but the sad thing is it worked yeah, That's the thing. Yeah. It worked, and it made Thor. Everybody was like, "Oh my God, Thor was so great!" Yep. And it made more than the other two movies. Then, then they knew, "Oh, here's this is the direction we have to go." Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That, that's that's what like disappointed me because after watching Thor Ragnarok, I went back and of course and watched the first Thor, and I went, "This movie's fucking good." What the fuck? This movie is actually pretty damn good. And ever, uh, you know, in the first Avengers, I'm like, I enjoyed. Thor. Like, yeah, he had his quippy moments, but it wasn't constant. Right. Thor Ragnarok, it's just, it's constant and it's exhausting. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. exhausting. I mean, you have like, and then of course, what they did with Hulk, I thought that was the worst rendition of Hulk, to be, you know, to be honest. I mean, when they fought, that was cool, fine. But overall, it's like what they did with Hulk and there, I think it was worse than what they did with Infinity War and even Endgame. Mm. The thing know. is, you know, the, the funny thing is, is when it comes to movies, like these movies, it's something that I've always wondered with people when they say about like Justice League, the Snyder Cut, like they don't care. Like, oh, who cares about this? And I, when it comes to movies, I'm always curious, no matter what, no matter how much I hate it. Oh, of I'm course. I'm always curious of if there is something different. Like if, say, like we were just talking about with Thor, if there was a script or something like that, that was completely different than what we got. I'd be interested in reading that. Yeah, I, I hated the, the the Thor we got, but I still be interested in that. And that always just blows me away with people when they say like, "Who cares about some, the Snyder Cut or something like that?" I'm like, "No, well, if you like movies, well, you what, know, wouldn't you want this alternate version?" Yeah, and you know what's funny too is like, and I've mentioned it many times is like when I in real life and I've talked to people who've watched Justice League, and I mean the first thing that's always discussed, you know, and especially with female friends, they always go, yeah, they fucked up Cavill's face, like right off the bat. I'm like, yeah, thank you. And then I tell them, like, there is an alternate cut that is different three and a half hours, and it's a com it's not going to be what you watch. And they went, oh, yeah, I would totally watch that. I, if it's better that's than what we got, I would totally watch that. But for and some reason – oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I, and that's just part of the – that's that's what needs to be shown to Warner Media and AT and T to see that hey the general public would watch this movie guys we can't just like hashtag release the Snyder Cut and that's all we do and do these campaigns we have to show that general public will actually pay to see this movie. But the thing is though for a lot of people a lot of people when they do find that information out like oh I would want to see that other cut that's kind of where that stops for them uh, for the most part there's nothing. Beyond that, like no. I have several people at work that I've told stuff to, and they're like, "Yeah, I would watch that." Oh, that's got Dark Side in it or Young Dark Side in it. Yeah, I'd watch that. But that's that's all they're yeah. gonna say. That's all they're gonna do. There's nothing more, nothing less they're gonna do. And it's, it's, it's there's people that I talk to that don't even know that Batman vs Superman had an ultimate cut. That they're yeah. they're familiar with with all of these uh, MCU movies. They they watch Man of Steel, really enjoyed it. Watch BBS in the theater. They don't, don't even know. know. Yeah. Marvel so, <laughs> yeah. So that that's where you really start to get like, oh man, it. We have that's we have a long hard. road ahead to really show that the casual audience is, is into this, and and it, unfortunately, I feel <laughs> yeah. that it, it's going to take something from Warner Brothers 
yeah, some survey to, or something. To me, the if, the, if the dark side thing, I I don't know. I was I wasn't hanging my hat on the dark side image, uh, really shooting this shit uh, skyward. But when I saw that dark side image, the Uxus, whatever the hell it is, in the history yes. lesson, the Uxus. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. You ass. Uh, you ass. That's what I said. I was like, you ass. <laughs> and when that happened, I thought, okay, when people see dark side, young dark side, this is going to be the moment where people are like, okay, well, that's even if you're the most casual, you know, at least a little bit about dark side, either from animated movies, maybe from comics, mm -hmm. somewhere, somewhere you've heard of dark side, you know, of dark side. And, um, and, it, and I still saw outside of Twitter. And that's where some people need to kind of look sometimes. Is outside of Twitter, it was like, who cares? And there were some people that were bitching that, like, why is Darkseid getting beat up by Amazons and and Atlanteans? Yeah. Like, they're totally ignoring the the gods of the whole thing. But wait, are your big bad guy is going to lose right in the beginning of the the, the movie, and then like you're, you're you're totally screwing them over. And I was like, wow. And I'm just reading this, and then there's like people saying, oh, the woulda coulda shoulda movie, and I'm like, it's not woulda coulda shoulda. <laughs> It's not. It's a real fucking movie. It's not that something that didn't happen. Right. It, it happened. <laughs> it's there. It's some condition of some kind. And it's done. It's done. And <laughs> and it's there. It's not a woulda, coulda, shoulda. It's fucking there. And at some point, it, yeah, I mean, we might, craziness. we may or may not yeah. get something. But when the dark side image didn't really take off as well as I now I, I hoped mm -hmm. anyway when well, I well within the community it did but yeah but like, yeah, yeah. Like, but see I was looking outside I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Instagram that, you show you that know. image to somebody outside they're like what the fuck is that you know yeah you know, it, it, it's just it well it was or a lot of people were saying he doesn't look like dark side because well yeah. technically he's not he, he's he's Uxus or you ass you know he's not <laughs> he, he doesn't have the Omega Omega effect or nothing like that it, 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 he's just a warrior. He's just a hardcore bitching, mm -hmm. take charge warrior at this point. So people are like, "Oh, it doesn't even look like Dark Side. Who? Why the fuck would you do that?" Snyder doesn't know how to do comic characters. Oh, Jesus I saw God. that so many times, and I'm like, like and I'm like, oh, like how? Well, Snyder didn't ruin Dark Side. I'm like, what is uh, Ava DuVernay? She's gonna do better. Apparently, well, she's, she's probably gonna just have this cameo where he's probably probably decked out, and everybody's going like, "Yeah, that's the dark side we should have got." <laughs> that, that sucks too. <laughs> my dark side. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's what sucks too. Is like um, when it came to Marvel Studios in that first Avengers movie, where you saw that post credit scene where you saw Thanos for the first time. I would say that eighty-seven percent of the theater went, "What the fuck was that?" Nobody knew who that was, and then right. they're looking at. Yep. You're looking at anybody with a Marvel shirt going, what is that? And then oh. they're just going, what? That's Thanos. You don't know who Thanos is? <laughs> you know, and it's the same thing when I saw Batman vs. Superman and I saw the Parademons. And I was like, ah! And people were like, what the fuck is going on during that nightmare yeah. sequence? Yeah. I'm sitting there like fucking with a like a huge boner in my pants going, oh my God, look at this. This is a beautiful shot. Parademons, Batman's fighting people. And everybody's going, what is that? I'm like, those are Parademons. They're like, what is a Parademon? That's the only bad part <laughs> yeah. is, is that that line that's drawn with a parachute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so I guess that's the perfect way to <laughs> to uh, explain it. But the, well, the general public's not going to know what who these big characters. I mean, I, I think that's no, why, but that's like, the point. And and yeah. that that's what Snyder is, is trying to do or was trying to do. Well, that's why he was and like, he even says, says, "I don't make you. stream. This, this isn't for the mainstream. It's, it's you not. know, I, I do it for you." And yeah. and that that's the whole point. You you made a great comparison with Thanos that no one fucking knew who that was. Yeah. And and if 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 they didn't have a Marvel shirt on and they said that they knew who Thanos was, yeah, no, you didn't. Yeah, I exactly. Remember, I remember even going like, huh, really? They're gonna yeah. do that because I knew who he was, but I didn't know like a big time like the the background. I just remember I just look at the character. I'm like, is that? And I wasn't even questioning myself too. I'm like, is that? who I think it is. And I, I had nobody to look to because I went with two friends that had no idea that they didn't read comics or nothing. I just kind of went, was that? And I just went online and went, okay, it was Thanos. Holy shit. They are going to, they're really going to try to do that. Yeah. I, I, I had the same. I had, uh, I knew who it was, but I didn't really know like yeah. about You're Thanos. Like, I have one of my close friends uh, is a big, we've had him on our show. Oh, Nick yeah. He's a big yeah. Marvel fan. So I was able to turn to him and say, Hey, you know, tell me about the, he, he knows about like the original guardians of the galaxy and, and things like that of, of the characters that, uh, you know, should have been in the movie. 
And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's just, it's one of those things. But if you, if the director does a good enough job or whoever's making the movies and, and writing the script and everything, and they do a good enough job bringing in these different characters, you should, you should look it up, yeah. you know? And, and that, that's the whole point is, is tying it together, not making these characters, which unfortunately has happened that are, well, yeah, that's what it is in the comics, but we're just going to take it and not make it anything like that. And then here's our version of it. And then, and then people are going to think, oh, that's what it is. Stephen Colbert a- even put in the chat here. He said, <sighs> when we published the thing with Ray Porter's voice, people were saying, wait, they actually cast Dark Sign? So <laughs> th- there you go. I mean, again, it's just this this lack of, we, we just can't break the Twitter barrier for the most part. It, it just, it, it sucks. Like I, if you look like at Ray Fisher's Instagram, he has way more followers on Instagram than he does on uh, Twitter. Yeah. And like he had uh, like a hundred and something thousand views of the behind the scenes football uh, stuff. And I looked at the comments and some people were like, Oh, we got robbed. We got robbed. And like a lot of people were like, what's this? Is this some, a, a new movie you're working on? Like, it's just like, Holy shit. You don't even realize that it was, you didn't even look at the trailer where he was playing football. Like yeah. you don't know <laughs> that it's the football scene and that's on Instagram and Instagram's just a whole, it's almost like a whole nother market over there. Yeah. And it, it, unfortunately, it just seems like this whole sphere has been stuck on the Twitter sphere and 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 like Instagram and a lot of other platforms are getting ignored and multiple different things. I actually listened to the, the Stephen Colbert and your podcast where he was talking about like digital media yeah. and stuff like pushing towards that and getting some analytics and stuff. And and I was like, that's something that's I haven't heard anybody propose before. And I thought that was a really good idea. No, it and, was a very good idea. And I know like there's people that push against that. Like, oh, you're going to send your analytics. I saw somebody in the chat right now. One of uh, one of the my uh, detractors that don't really like us that uh, said that. It was like, Who's oh, yeah. Me you. Well, no. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Trust me. Yeah. When I say us, it's all, all of us together. You're part of us. I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, <laughs> But he said, like, oh, yeah, you're going to send your analytics over to uh, to uh, Warner Brothers. It's like, that's not how it works. Because that's just like, that's what they don't want to hear. They they want to they want to think that, oh, what I think is on top of what everybody else is thinking. It's like, well, you, you're the minority. They have to appeal to the general public. And like you said, it would be nice, like, when the first Avengers came out and people were like, who the fuck was that guy at the end? They can go look it up. Then you have numerous articles that people explain like who Thanos mm-hmm. is, where he comes from, and this, that, and this. And then, you know, I mean, I'll give it to Marvel Studios. They built up to it. And a lot of people are like, yeah, it took them like fucking 18 movies to build it up to. I'm like, yeah, that was actually kind of smart because they kept teasing it. I mean, regardless of what we think about it, but they kept teasing it for the general public to only have like these two ending movies to like where the Avengers battle him, lose first, and then win the second time. You know, to me, that was kind of brilliant. And I think with Snyder, what he was trying to do, he was trying to build a story to tease Darkseid, show the history, show where that comes from. And, uh, you know, basically when it came to having, well, possibly three Justice League movies, it was going to lead to like just this final epic battle that was going to be something truly amazing. And hopefully people would have, it would have resonated with people, would have been different from Mm -hmm. what Marvel Studios did. But we'll never know if that would have actually did something. I don't know. I yeah. think we talked about this one before. But if you truly think about 2019 in general, a lot of people were talking about like, oh, shit, we missed out on uh, Justice League 2. It was supposed to come out, whatever, a week ago. Or yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a week ago. But I, was, I, I, told, I remember on an old stream that we did a while back, I, I, I think we go uh, Infinity War. We watched uh, Infinity War before we went and saw Endgame. We did a watch along, whatever. Anyway, and I pointed out the fact that we would have had a year, 2019 would have been the year, where we would have had Thanos and dark side oh. in major comic book movies jesus christ we would have had dark side this year and thanos would have been concluded yeah uh but then and dark side would have probably just been getting his jig on for the most part by just like two wow. anyway i didn't even think about that because i mean think about what's happening this year you had the end of the x-men franchise the end of this era of avengers we could have had justice league 2 and then we have star wars ending this year jesus christ not to mention game of thrones you know wow 2019 is a crazy weird year <laughs> and we could have had that second justice league we could have had that we would have had that second justice league movie where batman would have sacrificed himself yeah fuck 
I did not think that. You guys just depressed the shit at me. Just kidding. Well, you're like, welcome. Well, thank you very much. I know. Well, thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> we on a depressing note. That's, that's probably how most people feel when they watch our videos. Yeah, anyways, I think that's so actually a perfect way to end it, too, because uh, your guys' camera feed actually stopped working. I don't know why. Did yeah. it? Yeah. It War still shows us. Warner Brothers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, me, to me, it's only showing your graphic, and it's not really showing you, but... I don't know. Maybe to everybody else, it's different, but to talking, me, talking, talking. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is just Dang. showing our graphic. Yeah, see what oh, happens. Darn. You, don't, you don't get to see the like, sexiness. Oh, well, into that like kid, because I was like hours, groping so. my crotch the whole time anyway. So yeah, yeah, I know. Readjusting. Uh, I meant not groping. Were being removed, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it would have been a crazy year with like a bunch of stuff that would have came out. But uh, yeah, I think we'll just end it right there, guys. It's been a good, good stuff. Man. Yeah, this is my last little drink right here. I'll, I'll go ahead and toss it back. But uh, while I'm doing that, go ahead and promote you guys. P promote yourself. Promote your YouTube channel and everything. <laughs> are you just going to make it awkward as fuck. We were trying to hold it in. Yeah, so uh, we are uh, Comic Movie Marks. It's pretty pretty straightforward on Instagram, Twitter, Vero. Facebook. Facebook. We don't do Facebook. Uh, YouTube. Yeah, Facebook. Actually, we okay, started getting like some some <laughs> random traction. Yeah, I love Facebook. I, I, yeah, I'm like, wait, nine more followers? Yeah, Holy we didn't shit. do anything. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> Push it. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But know, just straight up comic movie marks. Yeah, we do video essays. We try to do different things, a little bit different yeah. stuff here and there. So I mean, yeah, it's it's hard. It's difficult. I'm this weekend I'm going to try to like go, okay, I need to like come up with some new segments on my stuff. I mean, it's hard to keep it fresh. I get it. You want to do like a longer video. I mean, I guess that's like the new thing with like YouTube algorithms is like, Hey, you got to have like longer videos now. You know, We don't even know. We have yeah. 2,500 subscribers. We, we've been fighting this algorithm since day one. We get these fluxes, man. It's yeah. weird. We're like, Oh wait, we figured it out. No, no, we yep, didn't. Nope, nope. no, no, no. Right yeah. back down. <laughs> John Wick it's, two that reviews uh, just soaring. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Not three, two. <laughs> Isn't it weird? It's weird when like random videos just start going. Yeah. Crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. We did one. We did like a breakdown of the Justice League Mortals thing, and like that thing just keeps climbing. Yeah. Like out of nowhere. On it, it. it was like it was at like ten views, and then fucking, and well, then like all I, of a sudden it's at seventeen thousand. I don't know. Yeah. Well, like I said, when I just reacted to Chris Dawson's Black yeah. Suit Edition trailer, I, I didn't think anything. I'm like, oh, this will probably this, this will be a good video. It'll it'll get a you know a few thousand or whatever. But it just blew up. Like I looked at my views, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I look, and all of a sudden it's just like it's it, it reached fifty thousand, sixty, seventy, and it just kept going and going. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? It, it's it's really, it's really crazy, and he, even somebody right here in the in the chat, and I and I believe it too, and I think this is where Film Gob is pretty brilliant because he doesn't do just like daily videos. Like I, I'm always just doing daily videos. I don't put like that much thought into it. It's mainly just me just talking about something. But he says Film Gob tries new things, and he says the algorithm screws his channel. So you really got to try to tap into like what what it what is it gonna do? Because I've seen seen some of his videos, they'll get a lot of traction with certain things. You know, if he's making fun of Captain Marvel, for instance, yeah. that's gonna get you a lot. Like even when I talked about that whole Chris Hemsworth Brie Larson thing, that one took off a lot more than I thought it was. You know, because I mean, it, it, it's it's a it's a debatable thing you know it's it's almost like a political thing because she's trying to be pro-feminist i did all my own stunts <laughs> and then you know pretty boy muscle bound chris hemsworth rolls his eyes even though it wasn't even like that bad but it turned into a whole fucking thing and anybody who did a video about it it's just it's gonna catch that algorithm because people are looking for that right you know? so yeah, it's, it, yeah it's we mystery. try we try to bounce around, like try to do a little bit, like some short videos, some long ones, more longer winded, more yeah. thorough. Like we don't really pump out that much com uh, compared to a lot of people and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just catching that right wave. Wave, yeah. E it's... Even getting this stuff right out at, at instantly is not even that. Oh, I used to be like anymore. that. I always compared myself to Jake Gyllenhaal in the Nightcrawler. I was like, oh, I got to get a, like if something leaked, I had to like, get it out there i had to get it out there even if i was at work i would just go in my car and do a video and be like hey i have a, a leaked footage of you know avengers uh age of ultron or something like that and it's on my site go fucking see it you know i always thought that that was the way to do it and i went you know what it, it comes to a point where 
people just want to hear what I have to say about something. And I think that's a lot better than trying to be the first to get something or scoop something. I think people really more, people will stick with you more if they like what you have to say. Exactly. As opposed, as opposed to just being the first to get it out there. And I mm-hmm. think that's why a lot of these scoopers get a lot of shit. Yeah, they might have a lot of followers, but they get a lot of shit because these people are looking for them to just get the shit out there first. They don't really care what that person has to say. I think it's I think it's a lot it's a, it, it's a lot better for your fans to enjoy what you have to say and they want to listen to you and I, it, it's just a whole better thing. I think that's why Chris Wong is doing well and uh, you know some other people you guys you probably have a, a, a strict fan base where they just want they're they're hitting you up going, "Hey, what are your thoughts about this? What's your thoughts about yeah, that?" Yeah. I think Which that's is weird. Yeah, it's very strange. It is very surreal and strange when like something happens and immediately people are going, I want to hear your thoughts. I'm waiting for you to ra- react to this trailer. You know, they've already watched it. They've already seen it. You're not the first to get it out there, but they want to see what you have to say. And I think that is, um, that is totally, that's, that's so much better than being that first. That's just me. Yep. Anyways, Agreed. that's the way we should end it right there, guys. It's all good. Bedtime coming on. Yeah, it's been a fun time. Um, you guys need to drink more. I just say, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to drink more? Oh yeah, I want you to get belligerent next time you come on here because I'm oh, pretty. Dude. I'm feeling pretty toasty right now. That's for damn sure. Oh, you look fantastic, man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, subscribe to these guys, guys, uh, guys, guys. Um, comic movie marks i always want to say comic book movie marks i don't know why we should have or we should put a comma in that i guess I or something. comic yeah. slash comma, yeah. comic movie comma bar yeah yeah, yeah. or just yeah. guys, and guys. Yeah. <laughs> all right they'll, thank they'll you sir. Be on again they'll be on again we'll be talking again and uh yeah i appreciate you guys clicking in i'm all done with my vodka Woo, yay i'm gonna go pass out now anyways all right guys we'll talk to you later